10, Tom Sandoval. Vanderpump Rules stars Tom Sandoval made headlines when accusations that he cheated on his longtime girlfriend, Ariana Maddox, with their co-star, Raquel Levy. Well, news of the Tom Tom restaurant cone owner's affair with Levy's broke on March 3rd. Sources told people that the affair had been going on for six months, leaving Maddox blindsided and devastated by the revelation. In a clip from season 10's finale of Vanderpump Rules, Maddox explained to friends Katie Maloney and Shani Shea how she found out about her boyfriend of nine years, Sandoval cheating on her with their co-star, while also revealing that the affair had been going on for several months rather than six. Sandoval and Lee have respectively issued statements acknowledging the allegations. Within the week, the cheating news broke. Both have opened up on the months-long affair and have apologized since. Number nine, Ariana Grande. The pop star is set to star in a film adaptation of the Broadway hit Wicked, following the story of the Wicked Witch before the events of The Wizard of Oz. Ariana Grande plays Glinda the Good, and Ethan Slater is Bach, the main love interest of the Wicked Witch. It's ironic that Ariana is the Good Witch, though, as she appears to have stolen another woman's man. Ethan was married to a woman named Lily J since 2018, and they actually welcomed their first child in 2022. Apparently, Ariana and Ethan fell in love on set of Wicked and started dating behind the scenes. However, an on-set insider shared that information with Slater's wife, who was, you know, furious. While the couple have agreed to raise their child as co-parents, Ethan officially filed for a divorce in July of this year and is still with Ariana, so far as we know. Number eight, Natalie Portman. After 11 years of marriage, it was recently announced that Thor Love and Thunder star Natalie Portman and her husband, Benjamin Millipede, will be separating following a very public and messy affair on Ben's part. Ben, who I assume is named after a kid's cartoon, was spotted with a 20 25-year-old climate activist. While Portman was mad, she initially tried to work things out with Ben in an attempt to save their marriage, but the affair put a massive strain on the relationship. The couple had met on the set of the 2009 drama Black Swan, with Ben acting as a scriptwriter for the project. While the affair has shaken their relationship, when asked about the issues by US Weekly, he said that he shares her pain and that he is still working on a new script for her. So they still work together professionally, but emotionally, they've checked out. Number seven, MGK. When the couple who who announced their engagement last January sparked rumors of a split after three years together, Megan posted a series of pictures on Instagram with a pointed caption from Beyonce's Lemonade album, which, if you didn't know, is all about infidelity. On top of this, she deleted every trace of MGK from her Instagram page and unfollowed him. In fact, she raised eyebrows by unfollowing everyone except for Harry Styles, Timothy Chalamet, and notably MGK's long-standing nemesis, Eminem. It wasn't surprising that Megan's usual behavior prompted people to speculate that herself and MGK might have called it quits after he was found cheating. Megan topped off the weekend's events by proceeding to deactivate her entire Instagram account. By February 13th, a source informed people that the two had not called things off, but claimed that Megan had apparently gone as far as removing her engagement ring, which FYI is specifically designed to cause pain when she does that. Apparently the band has little spikes on it that jam into her finger if she pulls it off. That's fun. The final reports claimed that they had gotten into a spat, but that it got blown out of proportion. Megan publicly defended MGK's guitarist, Sophie Lloyd Online, who was the alleged mistress in the situation. But there seems to be no proof that anything ever took place, and the couple are currently working through their issues, and things seem to have turned around for the better. Number six, Steve Harvey. Steve was trending on Twitter for quite a while thanks to a couple of situations, one that actually happened, and one that never happened. He seemingly fired his social media manager over a negative tweet regarding regarding comedians and is now having to hear rumors about his wife Marjorie Bridges cheating on him. Harvey, who is 66, shared a video suggesting that he fired his social media manager after they posted a tweet urging followers to name a comedian that does not make them laugh. Steve posted a video explaining the situation and claimed that wasn't his style and it wasn't going to happen again. The morning following that post, rumors started circulating that his wife Marjorie is seeking a divorce. According to the internet, she was caught having an affair with the chief and bodyguard. But fun fact, that didn't happen and the internet just really wanted Steve to have been cheated on for some reason when he is one of the best people on the planet who constantly shares his past with people to inspire and give hope. So Steve, if you're somehow watching this, first of all, why? Second of all, you are a legend and 100% no cheating in your life. So sorry if you hope for more. Number five, P. Diddy. The rap star Young Miami confirmed that she and Mr. Sean Combs P. Diddy are no longer together. The couple went public with their relationship in June of last year, but let everybody know that it wasn't exclusive. They said that at one point they were together every day of the 
a week and basically live together, letting the internet call it whatever they wanted. To double down on the claim, any time that they've been asked if they're official, they must list the people they've been with outside of each other, like they're all alibis in a court case or something. This past year, the world was shocked when Sean welcomed his seventh child into the world with a woman named Dana Tran, while the pair had decided to keep things private. Apparently, this wasn't part of the deal. Miami has made it very clear that Sean is no longer a man in her life in any way, shape, or form. So, while Sean is stuck raising another baby and apparently dealing with some pretty harsh rumors right now, Miami will be sipping poolside surrounded by her lovers. I feel bad for whoever has to clean that pool. Number four, Avril Lavigne. This year's shocking reports hit the internet claiming Avril Lavigne had called off her engagement to Maude's son. TMZ's insiders claim that things had been on and off for a while as the couple tried to mend their romance, but then when they got in touch with the Karma Singers team, a rep declared that the last thing he heard was the couple had been engaged, and that was only three days prior, so anything else would be news to him. Avril had been spotted out and about with a man named Taya, who she claims is just a friend but the internet likes to gossip, so the headlines were Avril cheats on Maude's son. A week after his tour started and the news broke, he posted a series of photos on his Instagram making references to a broken heart and knowing there is a plan for everyone. He thanked his fans and then went dark. Since then, the two have been drenched in rumors, but the only thing that has been confirmed is they now reside in Splitsville. Number three, Jesse Rutherford. When the news first broke of Billie Eilish and Jesse getting together, the internet drowned them in negative comments, calling to question why she was dating someone 10 years older than herself. To poke fun at this, the couple dressed as a baby and an elderly man on their first Halloween together, the type of thing that would become the norm in their lives. The couple were always spotted wearing matching clothes or outlandish outfits, even making their red carpet debut while wearing matchy Gucci pajamas at the 11th annual LACMA Art and Film Gala. The couple were also known for their very public displays of affection. The PDA and inside jokes were the foundations of this relationship, and they seemed happy together until this past May, when the news broke, the pair would be splitting up. Claiming it to be a mutual decision, it was later speculated that the split was due to Jesse getting busy behind Billy's back. Whether that spark just fizzled out or something darker has taken place, Jesse and Billy will be fine and they'll find new people soon. So, look at that. Just look at these two side by side. They are goth king and queen. This man's eye tattoo is staring at me. Number two, Lily Reinhardt. Cole Sprouse and Lily met on the set of Riverdale in 2016 while filming the pilot episode for the series that finally ended after being the most confusing series of all time. I had to stop after season three because everyone started playing D&D and Stranger Things came out. So there you go. Anyway, they fell in love playing Jughead and Betty having a relationship that lasted like seven years. But in 2020, started to go downhill. They were plagued by cheating rumors, things had apparently become heavy behind the scenes according to Cole. Towards the end of that year, they confirmed the split online. However, this year, Cole spoke out about the breakup while having a cancer stick in the middle of an interview, claiming that he didn't want to get too deep into the topic, but that it was a mutual decision. Lily began receiving violent and threatening messages following the interview as well as the end of the show. The past few weeks, rumors have been arising once more and fans are becoming online detectives again to uncover the truth. And at number one, Sebastian Leggett. This year, Becky G hit the 2023 iHeartRadio Awards red carpet without her engagement ring on. She attended the ceremony, at which she took home the award for Best Latin Pop Song of the Year for her and Carol G's collaboration, Mammy. On Tuesday, March 27th, the same day her fiancé, Sebastian Leggett, seemingly confessed that he cheated on his girlfriend of six years on Instagram. He posted that over the previous few weeks, during a moment he deeply regretted, a 10-minute lap in judgment resulted in an extortion plot. The 30-year-old soccer player shared the information on his Instagram after a fan claimed to have proof that he was unfaithful to Becky G. The fan was claiming that Seb had a tryst with a woman while out at a club in Madrid last year. They allegedly had receipts of the affair, including videos, audio, text, and so much more. The relationship seems to have crumbled, with the latest being Becky is single and Sebastian is trying to figure out incognito mode on his phone. Number 10, how they met. In an interview with Harper's Bazaar UK in 20. 2019, Sophie spoke about their meeting and she basically said they got set up. She explained that they had a lot of mutual friends and they had been trying to introduce them for quite some time. Apparently they were following each other on Instagram and he direct messaged her one fine day out of the blue. Soon after the meeting, he invited her to meet up with his tour that was passing through the UK. She said that the two of them had an instant connection, even though she hadn't expected to like him. She said he didn't bring security, he brought a friend and they drank just as hard as the rest of us. I remember us 
two, spending only a couple of minutes on the dance. And then we found a space in the far corner and we just talked. Sophie went on to say that they talked for hours and hours, but that she was never bored. She felt that the conversation wasn't contrived, it wasn't small talk. From her point of view, it was just easy. She said soon they were inseparable and then she went on tour with him. So at that point, it seemed like she had really fallen hard for this dude and marriage came very quickly after that, like very quickly, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Number nine, age is but a number. Joe was 28 years old when he popped the question to his then 21 year old girlfriend, Sophie. A lot of people believe that age is just a number. Many didn't find this to be a big deal at first. An insider close to the couple revealed that they were madly in love. And while Sophie is a bit younger than he is, she grew up in a small English town. So it's not completely out of the ordinary for an age difference to be glossed over. Many fans also came to her defense, citing her mental maturity. While she may have been 21, she was forced to grow up very fast. And because of that, she was probably closer to like a 30 year old mentally speaking. The red flag is that much like celebrities like Leonardo DiCaprio or Al Pacino, Joe tends to date people much younger than himself, like supermodel Gigi Hadid. His oldest girlfriend was Taylor Swift. She was a whole four months older than him. Wow, make way for grandma. Despite how uncomfortable many fans found the age gap to be, the couple did not care and really, that's what matters. Number eight, Flirty McGurdy. When these two first got together, it was believed that Joe had all of the leverage. Why? Well, Sophie was into him for quite some time, but she was aware that at the time, Joe was not known for his commitment skills. When they first met, he was a player, and according to several women, he was seeing them simultaneously and without each other's knowledge. Joe's tone shifted though when he met Sophie. By December of 2016, he was becoming a one woman kind of guy. According to Sophie, they were intoxicated with each other and they started dating exclusively. However, it appears that he was playing the field for so long that he's forgotten to turn off his game. Joe was still flirting with women at his shows, and while it may have been accidental, the fact that he's not aware of what he's doing was cause for concern. Not only has Joe flirted with other people in the past, but apparently his ex Sophie did as well, with one of Joe's close friends whose jaw literally dropped when he saw her in real life. Number seven, the private PDA? Despite crying out to the public to just leave them alone, Sophie and Joe were known for their aggressive PDA. Whether it's getting cozy at an awards show, or at a Kings of Leon's concert, or during a shopping trip. Page Six reported that in May of 2017, the couple went into a dressing room together in a Soho boutique. According to the report, the couple entered the change room and a customer noticed both of them in bare feet below the door. Now, while it's super creepy that someone was just peeking under doors in Soho, it was clear that Sophie was trying on clothes for Joe in the privacy of their own little room. When they exited, they noticed the couple to be giggly and very touchy feely. Now, while being close isn't a bad thing per se, these two have constantly asked the world to ignore them and stop focusing on their love lives. Well, hey man, then stop licking your wife in public. Number six, in and out. Ah, Las Vegas weddings. Quick, easy, and everlasting. Joe and Sophie tied the knot in Las Vegas after publicly claiming several times that they were in no rush to get married. After telling the world they'd be taking time off for themselves following their engagement, it was not less than a month later that they tied the knot and attended the Billboard Music Awards right after getting their license, like on the exact same day. They went to a little wedding chapel in Las Vegas that's famous for its star weddings, like Britney Spears' marriage to her friend Jason Alexander for like, I don't know, two days. Not to mention, the wedding featured some huge Vegas cliches. There was an Elvis impersonator literally officiating the thing. Many speculate that Joe was trying to prove something to his brothers by throwing the exact opposite of their weddings. Nick Jonas and Priyanka Chopra had an extravagant million dollar wedding spanning multiple days. The only people in attendance for Joe and Sophie were Joe's brothers, DJ Khaled and Diplo. They also didn't wear the traditional dress and suit, instead opting for slacks and jeans. To cap it all off, they used ring pops instead of real rings to seal the deal. Man, I feel like I'm describing a dream that I had. Number five, Sophie was hesitant. Sophie Turner previously admitted to OK Australia in 2016 that she's never dated anyone who she didn't know before or who is in the industry. Her reasoning, well, in addition to being more focused on her career than her love life at the time, she claimed that their lifestyles were a contributing factor. Joe and Sophie had different ideas of what was fun. She went on to say how onset romances are amazing, but they tend to be very temporary when it comes to their time together, so that was a big fear for her. The logistics seemed to be her main concern as well. If she was filming in Australia and he was on tour in the States, how would that work? They'd never see each other. After getting together officially with Joe, Sophie did admit that she felt 
felt like she was in a fishbowl. Frustratingly for her, the smallest thing would be made into headline news. If she stubbed her toe on the sidewalk, it was in the front page. Her frustrations are legitimate, but why maintain this charade for so long if you're uncomfortable from the start? Number four, short and sweet. Before being engaged, the couple only dated for a very short time. Joe Jonas and Sophie Turner were first linked after attending a Halloween party together in 2016. The singer showed up dressed as a Dalmatian, while his love interest sported some pink sequins bunny ears, according to People Magazine. Less than a week later, they were spotted looking very comfortable at the pre-MTV European Music Awards event in the Netherlands, where Kings of Leons performed. Less than a year after getting together, Sophie was spotted with a ring on her finger, and the engagement was confirmed. Many people get engaged early in their relationship, but as you've seen through this video, this was a case of rushing into things a little too quickly, considering some of the other entries on this list. Number three, she's messing with a gold digger. According to an inside source close to the couple, Joe was beyond excited when he started dating Sophie, and sounds like it's because of her money. According to the source, one of the main reasons that Joe is so smitten with his ex-man wife is because she is able to provide for herself and for him. Apparently, Sophie does not let Joe pay for most things, something the musician is not used to. When speaking about his wife in interviews, Joe kind of just backed up the whole gold digger theory as the first and foremost thing that he mentions is how much he loves her independence. He literally said, she buys me stuff all the time. I love it. While many praise Sophie for her efforts, many people started pointing out the red flag and expressing their discomfort, knowing that Joe Jonas doesn't pay the bill when he's out with his lady. Maybe that's why they're getting divorced. Maybe she kept the tabs and the bill finally came due. Number two, different love languages. According to Sophie herself, she learned that a majority of what she knows about physical intimacy was from her time on the HBO series Game of Thrones. I'm not sure why this needs to be said, but I'm gonna say it. Don't treat Game of Thrones as something to learn from. Dragons aren't real. They're not real, Nate. Thanks to the show, it may have skewered her view on what proper intimacy looks like. Meanwhile, Joe just seems to love chit-chatting about his private parts. Seriously, like every chance this guy gets, it's Jenna Tail Heya. He boasted to Vulture in December of 2013 about removing his purity ring, which himself and his brothers, Kevin and Nick, rocked during their Disney days. In October of 2016, he then talked about the size of his little dinghy compared to that of his brothers, which is just too much information. Very uncomfortable. He goes on to recount the time that he lost his V card and about becoming a little bit too excited while filming music videos with Ashley Graham and Charlotte McKinney. Sophie has expressed her disappointment in this lack of restraint and has begged him to quit numerous times, but he persists and now they're divorced. And at number one, Joe took off his wedding ring first. In the weeks leading up to this divorce announcement, Joe was photographed without his wedding ring quite a few times. One of those moments was as far back as August 11th, when he was picking up an iced coffee in New York City. But since then, he's made a point of wearing it again, even as the couple have officially filed for divorce. On Monday, Joe posted a black and white photo on Instagram that showed him looking at the camera and holding a cup with his wedding band prominently on full display. Then, just this morning, he posted a statement to Instagram claiming that it was from the two of them. It said, after four wonderful years of marriage, we have mutually decided to amicably end our marriage. There are many speculative narratives as to why, but truly this is a united decision and we sincerely hope that everyone can respect our wishes for privacy for us and our children. This is quite a shock considering that the news only broke a few days ago. Sources spoke to TMZ and said that Joe had his people contact at least two divorce lawyers in LA and the couple has had serious problems in their relationship for at least six months. Number 10, Jeremy Allen White and Addison Timlin. Jeremy made a big move in the acting world after his FX comedy series The Bear premiered on Disney Plus this past year, but he's actually been making people laugh, cry, and scream since starring as Lip Gallagher in the hit TV series Shameless, a show that I definitely haven't watched 10 times start to finish back to back. Definitely wouldn't do that. No, no sir. He met his future wife, Addison, on set of a film called After School in 2008. They were close friends for almost 12 years before becoming an official item in 2019. The relationship has mainly taken place behind the scenes apart from a few Instagram posts, but Jeremy's love for his wife has been well known since his acceptance speech at the 2023 Golden Globes, where he won the award for the best actor in a musical or comedy TV series. Unfortunately, roughly two months ago, Addison filed for a divorce from Jeremy with little to no explanation 
so far. Three days following the divorce announcement, she posted a picture of herself with her daughter on Instagram and captioned it, single mom, which was apparently news to Jeremy, who was under the impression that they would be co-parenting. While their relationship may have ended in a mess, there might be a new one on the horizon as Jeremy was spotted with Wizards of Waverly Place star Selena Gomez. Hey, Lip Gallagher and Alex Russo would be so cute together. Number 9. Natalie Portman After 11 years of marriage, it was recently announced that Thor Love and Thunder star Natalie Portman and her husband, Benjamin Millipede, will be separating following a very public and messy affair on Ben's part. Ben, who I assume is named after a kid's cartoon, was spotted with a 25-year-old climate activist. While Portman was mad, she initially did try to work things out with Ben in an attempt to save their marriage, but the affair put a massive strain on their relationship. The couple had met on set of the 2009 drama Black Swan, with Ben acting as a script writer for the project. While the affair had shaken up their relationship, when asked about the issues by Us Weekly, he said that he shared her pain and that he was sending her a new script. I don't know, while they may still be working together professionally, emotionally speaking, they have definitely checked out. Number 8. Drake Bell and Janet Von Schmeling Drake was a small screen sweetheart in the early 2000s, starring in several Nickelodeon shows and movies like Drake and Josh, The Amanda Bynes Show, and of course the live action Fairly Odd Parents. He was on track to be a megastar in the world of Hollywood, but unfortunately is one of the many Nickelodeon stars who took a turn for the worse. He starred in a number of low budget flicks over the years, but his status as a celebrity was gone at that point. The nail was finally driven into the coffin in 2021 when Drake was sentenced to two years of probation and 200 hours of community service after it was revealed that he had been grooming a younger fan for years. So if you see him in an orange jumpsuit cleaning graffiti off of a wall, you might know why. Recently, it was announced that his wife Janet had filed for divorce from Drake following that situation and another one where he was missing for five days on a bender doing God knows what with the strange women women and friends that she had never met. On the actual paperwork, Vaughn has cited irreconcilable differences and has requested legal and physical custody of their younglings. In April of this year, Drake was reported missing only to turn up completely unharmed five days later, and according to Janet, Drake's mental health had slowly been declining in the last few years. His toxicity towards his partners is nothing new as his ex, Melissa Lingefelt, accused him of being verbally manipulative and physically violent. Between his rocky history and declining mental health, we're happy to see that Janet got out of there before anything too crazy took place. Who knows how bad of a dad this guy could actually be. I mean, we all know he can't build a treehouse. Number 7. Joe Jonas and Sophie Turner Joe and Sophie got together back in 2016 after they had been set up by mutual friends, something that they had been trying to do for quite some time. They got together and instantly fell in love, getting married just over a year after getting together. Sophie admitted to Rolling Stones in 2019 that she was hesitant at first. Joe was this big musician and she was a big TV and film star, meaning that most of the time they would be on opposite ends of the world. Eventually, she warmed up and got together with Joe officially, but the split came out of nowhere. For the most part, their relationship has seemed to be stable on the outside. They were never a part of a cheating scandal, which is surprising considering Joe's lack of discretion in the past. There were never any strange rumors or photos. They were just this happy couple. But as of September 1st, Joe Jonas has filed for a divorce from Sophie, with the only current information being that Joe has claimed the relationship relationship to be irretrievably broken. Something pretty serious must have gone on in a very short amount of time. Only hours before the announcement, Joe posted a photo of himself to Instagram with his ring on full display. Despite the minimal amount of tea spilt so far, we are in for a very messy divorce. Number 6. Britney Spears and Sam Asghari Britney and Sam's marriage is in shambles. The couple that got together back in 2016 seemed to be great on the outside. As Britney was getting better overall, her relationship relationship with Sam became more and more serious. Sam was right there by her side through thick and thin. Eventually they tied the knot in 2022, which is why it was so devastating for her fans to learn that the couple had called it quits just a little over a month ago. The words used on the actual divorce paperwork say irreconcilable differences, which for Hollywood people just tends to mean nothing good. Sam was the one to officially file for the divorce, demanding that Britney pay spousal support and attorney fees. Since this news is 
so recent, there is no current update on how the couple are doing or how deep into the process they are. Britney once again made headlines in the media, something that she hadn't really done since the early 2010s. Her divorce was covered constantly and the internet has been weighing in their decisions ever since. Number 5, Ariana Grande and Ethan Slater. So bear with me here for a moment because Ariana is actually the cause of this divorce, so strap in. The pop star and Broadway giant are set to star in a film adaptation of the Broadway hit Wicked following the story of the Wicked Witch before the events of The Wizard of Oz. Ariana plays Glinda the Good and Slater is Bach, the main love interest of the Wicked Witch. It's ironic that Ariana is the good witch though as she appears to have stolen another woman's man. Ethan was married to a woman named Lily J since 2018 and the pair even welcomed their first child into the world in 2022. Apparently, Ariana and Ethan fell in love on set and started dating behind the scenes. However, on set insiders shared the information to Slater's wife who was furious and while the couple have agreed to raise their child as co-parents, Ethan officially filed for a divorce in July of this year. Number 4. Billy Porter and Adam Smith Billy and Adam have been together for 6 years before recently announcing their amicable divorce. The American Horror Story star and his husband Adam met after being introduced by a mutual friend in 2009. They briefly dated but ultimately split before getting back together in 2015 and tying the knot a year later. Over the past few years, they have been one of Hollywood's favorite couples, regularly being spotted at award ceremonies and fancy events, just happily holding each other. It's so cute, it makes me want to vomit. Unfortunately, their relationship seems to have slowly fizzled out as they announced they would be filing for a divorce. The decision came from a conversation that they had and a decision that they made mutually, claiming they will remain friends for the rest of their lives. However, the online rumors and backlash suggest that something a little bit darker has taken place behind the scenes. They've asked everyone to give them some privacy, so why don't we skip some bad jokes and not get into the rumors and just move on to the next entry. Number 3, Shanine Doherty and Kurt Isrienko. This past April, the alumni of Charmed filed for a divorce from her husband Kurt after 11 years of marriage. She was photographed in March without her wedding ring on display, causing many to assume that the divorce had been something planned for quite some time. As with most celebrities who file for divorce, the couple cited irreconcilable differences. Shanine claimed that the divorce was the last thing she wanted. Unfortunately, her hubby left her no options. While there was no real confirmation on what was happening behind the scenes, according to Shanine herself, Kurt's agent was intimately involved with their divorce. Neither Kurt nor his agent has spoken out about the rumors, probably because they're too busy getting down. Ooh. Number 2. Noel Gallagher and Sarah McDonald The former Oasis frontman, now in his mid-50s, revealed that himself and his wife Sarah would be filing for a divorce after 12 years of marriage. According to Noel, the couple simply got bored with each other, something not uncommon for people in their 50s. Speaking with Ireland's Hot Press magazine, Sarah told the outlet that the split was because she was sick and tired of Noel's partying habits. Even at the age of 55, this guy is acting like he's 20 years old, coming home late and reeking of no-no juice. Noel denied the claims and said that it was because of 2020 and being stuck with her for months on end. Noel claimed that while he hated his time in isolation, it was a very revealing time in his life. He was able to work on songs that were unfinished as well as create some new ones. Much like a ton of couples at that time, they were realizing that they just weren't good at sharing a space. Before, they were able to go out and about and be alone, but for a solid six months, it was just them in a house every single day. So we get it. Number one, Reese Witherspoon and Jim Toff. Over the years, Reese made quite the name for herself, starring in films like Legally Blonde, Walk the Line, and Hot Pursuit. She was well known for being a comedic actor able to tap into her serious side when the time came for it. Along for the ride right up until 2023 was Jim Toff. Jim has starred in a handful of projects, but mainly acts as a producer, creating sitcoms like According to Jim. The couple first got together in 2011 and quickly tied the knot. Over the last 12 years, there was never a sign that this couple was headed for disaster, but that may be due in part to them not getting out much. Reese has continued to act fairly steadily over the years, but for some reason, she has been appearing less and less in the public. Perhaps there was something going on behind the scenes as the announcement came only two days before they were supposed to celebrate their 12 year anniversary. According to a statement released by both of them, the decision was a mutual one, saying that they enjoyed their time with each other, but things just don't work out sometimes. Number 10, Ariana Grande. The pop star and Broadway giant is set to star in a film adaptation of the Broadway hit Wicked, following the story of the Wicked Witch before the events of the Wizard of Oz. 
Prince, Ariana Grande plays Glinda the Good Witch, and Ethan Slater is Bok, the main love interest of the Wicked Witch. It's ironic that Ariana is the Good Witch though, as she appears to have stolen another woman's man. Ethan Slater was married to a woman named Lily J since 2018, and the pair even welcomed their first child in 2022. Apparently, Ariana and Ethan fell in love on set, and they started dating behind the scenes. However, on set, an insider shared info into Ethan Slater's wife, who was apparently furious. While the couple have agreed to raise their child as co-parents, Ethan officially filed for divorce in July of this year. Number nine, Tom Sandoval. Vanderpump Rules star Tom Sandoval made headlines when accusations that he cheated on his longtime girlfriend Ariana Maddox with their co-star Raquel Levis. On news of the Tom Tom restaurant's co-owner's affair with Levis broke on March 3rd, sources told People Magazine that the affair had been going on for six months, leaving Maddox blindsided and devastated by the revelation. In a clip from the season 10 finale of Vanderpump Rules, Maddox explained to friends Katie Maloney and Shiana Shea about how she found out her boyfriend of nine years, Tom Sandoval, was cheating on her with their co-star, while also revealing that the affair had been going on for seven months, rather than six. Sandoval and Levis have respectively issued statements acknowledging the allegations within the week that the cheating news broke. Both have now opened up on the months-long affair and have apologized since. Number eight, Lily Reinhardt. Cole Sprouse and Lily met on the set of Riverdale in 2016 while filming the pilot episode for the series that finally ended after being the most confusing series of all time. I mean, I had to stop after season three because they started getting into D&D and that's a Stranger Things game. Anyway, they fell in love playing Jughead and Betty having a relationship that lasted almost seven years. Somewhere around 2020, things started to go downhill and they were plagued by cheating rumors and things had apparently become heavy behind the scenes according to Cole. Towards the end of that year, they confirmed the split online, but this year, Cole spoke out about the breakup while having a cancer stick in the middle of an interview, claiming he didn't want to get too deep into the topic, that it was a mutual decision. Unfortunately, Lily began receiving violent and threatening messages following the interview, as well as at the end of the show. This past week, the rumors arose once more and fans are becoming online detectives once again to uncover the truth. Number seven, Natalie Portman. After 11 years of marriage, it was recently announced that Thor Love and Thunder star Natalie Portman and her husband, Benjamin Milliped, will be separating following a very public and messy affair on Benny's part. Ben, who I assume is named after a kid's cartoon, was spotted with a 25-year-old climate activist. And while Natalie Portman was mad, she initially tried to work things out with Ben in an attempt to save their marriage. But the affair put a massive strain on their relationship. The couple had met on the set of the 2009 drama Black Swan, with Ben acting as a scriptwriter for the project. While the affair has shaken up their relationship, when asked about the issues by Us Weekly, he said that he shared her pain and that he was sending her a new script. While they might be working together again professionally, emotionally, they have completely checked out. Number six, MGK. On February 11th, the couple announced their engagement last January, and then there were rumors of a breakup after they had three years together. Megan posted a series of pictures on Instagram with a pointed caption from Beyonce's Lemonade album, which if you didn't know, is all about infidelity. On top of this, she deleted every trace of MGK from her Instagram page and unfollowed him. In fact, she raised eyebrows by unfollowing literally everyone except Harry Styles, Timothy Chalamet, and notably MGK's long-standing nemesis, Eminem. It wasn't surprising that Megan's unusual behavior prompted people to speculate that she and MGK had called it quits after she'd found him cheating. Megan topped off the weekend's events by proceeding to deactivate her entire Instagram account. By February 13th, a source informed People magazine that the two of them hadn't quite called off their relationship, but they claimed that Megan had apparently gone as far as to remove her engagement ring, which FYI was specifically designed to cause pain whenever she takes it off. Apparently, the band is embedded with little diamond spikes that jam into her finger when she tries to pull it off. The final report claims that they had gotten into a spat, but that it had been blown way out of proportion. Then Megan publicly defended MGK's guitarist, Sophie Lloyd Online, who was the alleged mistress in this situation. But there seems to be no proof that anything physical ever took place. And the couple are currently working through their issues, but you never know what could happen in this wild world of Hollywood. Number five, Sebastian Ledget. This year, Becky G hit the 2023 iHeart Radio Music Carpet without her engagement ring. She attended the ceremony at which she took home the award for Best Latin Pop Song of the Year for her and Carol G's music collab, Mummy. On Tuesday, March 27th, the same day her fiance, Sebastian, seemingly confessed that he cheated on his girlfriend of six years via Instagram. He posted that over the previous weeks, during a moment that he deeply regrets, a 10 minute lapse in judgment resulted in an extortion plot. The 30 year old soccer player shared the info on his Instagram after a fan claimed to have proof that he was unfaithful to Becky G. The fan claimed that he had a tryst with a woman while 
while he was out in a club in Madrid last year, and they allegedly had receipts of this affair, including video, audio, texts, and more. Their relationship seems to have crumbled, with the latest information being that Becky G is single, whereas Sebastian is trying to figure out incognito mode on his phone. Number four, Steve Harvey. Now, Steve is trending on Twitter at the moment for two situations one that actually happened, and one that's been rumored. He seemingly fired his social media manager over a negative tweet regarding comedians, and is now having to hear rumors about his wife Marjorie Bridges cheating on him. That's right, Harvey shared a video on Friday night suggesting that he fired his social media manager after they posted a tweet urging followers to name a comedian that does not make them laugh. Steve posted a video explaining the situation and claimed that that was not his style and it was not going to happen again. The morning following the post, rumors started circulating that his wife Marjorie would be seeking a divorce. According to the internet, she was caught having an affair with their chef and their bodyguard. So far, there is very little proof that any of these claims are actually legit. In fact, Steve himself has denied anything of the sort taking place. Friends and family of the couple have also claimed that they have been in contact and they have been told that there is nothing but happiness in their household. So this one is still a rumor at the moment, but this is a so far list and who knows what will be in the news in the near future. Number three, P Diddy. The rap star Young Miami confirmed that she and Mr. Sean Combs, aka P Diddy, are no longer together. The couple went public with their relationship in June last year, but they let everyone know that it wasn't exclusive. They said at one point that they were together every day of the week, basically living together and letting the internet call it whatever they wanted. To double down on the claim, anytime they've been asked if they are official, they must list the people that they've been with outside of each other. Like these are all alibis in a court case or something. This past year, the world was shocked when Sean welcomed his seventh child into the world with a woman named Dana Tran. While the pair had decided to keep things private, apparently this was not part of the deal. And Miami has since made it clear that Sean is no longer her man in any way, shape, or form. So while Sean is stuck raising another baby, Miami will be sipping poolside surrounded by her lovers. And I feel bad for whoever cleans that pool. Number two, Avril Lavigne. This year, shocking reports had hit the internet, claiming that Avril Lavigne had called off her engagement to Maude. TMZ insiders claim that things had been on and off for a while as the couple tried to mend their romance. But then they got in touch with the Karma Singers team, and a rep declared that the last thing he heard from the couple was that they were engaged and that was only three days prior. So anything else would be news to him. Avril had been spotted out and about with a man named Tiger, who she claims is just a friend. But the internet loves to gossip, so the headlines were that Avril was cheating on Mod Sun. One week after his tour started and the news broke, he posted a series of photos on his Instagram, making references to a broken heart and knowing that there is a plan for everyone. He thanked his fans and went dark. Since then, the two of them have been drenched in rumors, and the only thing that has been confirmed is that these two now reside in Splitsville. And coming in number one, Jesse Rutherford. When the news first broke of Billie Eilish and Jesse Rutherford getting together, the internet drowned them in negative comments calling to question why she was dating someone 10 years older. They also poked fun at this couple who dressed up as a baby and an elderly man on their first ever Halloween together. This is the type of thing that would become the norm in their lives. The couple were always spotted wearing matching clothes or outlandish outfits, even making their red carpet debut while wearing matchy Gucci pajamas at the Art and Film Gala. The couple were also known for their very public displays of affection, over the top PDA, and inside jokes were the foundation of their relationship. And they seemed very happy together until this past May, when news broke that the pair would be splitting up, claiming that it was a mutual decision. But it was later speculated that the split was due to Jesse getting busy behind Billy's back. Whether the spark just fizzled out or something darker took place, Jesse and Billy will be fine and find new people soon. I mean, just look at these two side by side. They are goth king and queen. His eye tattoo is really staring at me. Coming in at number 10 is Taylor Swift and Matt Healy. Taylor Swift and 1975 frontman Matt Healy were taking the media world by storm when they were spotted holding hands and attending each other's concerts early this year. Earlier this year, Taylor ended a six year relationship with Joe Alwyn and she quickly bounced back with the singer who has stirred up a lot of controversy for spouting racial slurs, political rants, and just trashy trash trash. Following the rumors of their romance, Maddie started playing She's American at his concerts and referencing Taylor throughout his gigs. They were confirmed to be in a relationship sometime in May, but less than a month later, they had split for good. Apparently, Taylor finally came to her senses and dropped the menace from her life. Now, hopefully, nothing but good things will come from this split, and by good things, I mean a new song. But I mean, hey, we all have crappy rebounds, Taylor, I don't blame ya. Billie Eilish and Jesse Rutherford. When the news first broke of Billie and Jesse getting together, the internet drowned them in negative comments, calling to question why she was dating someone 10 years older than herself. To poke fun at this, the couple dressed up as a baby and an elderly man on their first.
first Halloween together, this type of thing that would become the norm in their lives. The couple were always spotted wearing matching clothes or outlandish outfits, even making their red carpet debut while wearing matching Gucci pajamas at the 11th annual LICMA Art and Film Gala. The couple were also known for their very public displays of affection, PDA, and inside jokes. They seemed very happy together until this past May when the news broke that the pair would be splitting up, claiming to be a mutual decision. Whether the spark just fizzled out or something darker has taken place, Jesse and Billy will be fine and find new people soon. And I'm sure Billy will look back on this relationship with a lot of regret. Number 8. Diddy and Young Miami The rap star Young Miami confirmed that she and Mr. Sean Combs, aka P. Diddy, are no longer together. The couple went public with their relationship in June of last year, but let everyone know it wasn't exclusive, even though they were together every day of the week, basically living together and letting the internet call it whatever they wanted. To double down on the claim, anytime they've been asked if they are official, they must list the people they've been with outside of each other, like they're all alibis in court or something. This past year, the world was shocked when Sean welcomed his seventh child into the world with a woman named Dana Tran. While the pair had decided to keep things private, apparently this was not part of the deal, and Miami has made it clear that Sean is no longer her man in any way, shape, or form. So while Sean is stuck raising another baby, Miami will be sipping poolside surrounded by her lovers. Number 7. Avril Lavigne and Tyga Yes, they dated, and I know what you're thinking, what a strange pair, and I agree. The skater boy singer was dating fellow musician Tyga since being spotted together at a Paris fashion show in March. She had just broken up with her boo, Maud Sun, and as many do, she decided to jet off to France to seek comfort. Tyga was also in a similar boat, having split with his ex Black China and seeking a similar peace of mind in the fashion world. Their relationship was heavily publicized by themselves, as they were constantly posting pictures and videos of themselves cuddling together and getting close. Recently, the couple decided to call it quits, but are apparently still friends and talk behind the scenes. Tyga even gifted Avril with an $80,000 necklace earlier this year. No reason in particular, just did it. This man loved her no matter how much it cost. But I mean, hey, it's nice to know that they will no longer be jamming their wealth in PDA down our throats. Number 6. Camila Cabello and Shawn Mendes Shawn and Camila were actually together a few years ago, but they ultimately split in 2019. However, thanks to the human brain being the joy that it is, they couldn't stop thinking about each other and got back together earlier this year. Splitting and getting back together is one thing, but the public way they've done it is so in our faces. They collaborated together to make music to be like, hey, look, we're here again, only for news to break that they have split again. These two are so flippy floppy, they might as well be pancakes. Sean claims the split this time around was due to his need to mature more in his life and that he was unable to do that with Camilla around. The latest reports say they're both single, but Camilla has been busy and it looks like she'll be the first one back on her feet. Will they probably get back together though? Yeah. Probably. Number 5. The Weeknd and Bella Hadid In 2016, Bella was on the cover of Glamour magazine where she announced she was dating The Weeknd, aka Abel Tesfe. At the time, The Weeknd had just released his popular album Starboy, and while it received critical acclaim upon initial release, following the announcement by Bella, The Weeknd became a headliner in the news world, questions being thrown left and right, who, what, where, and why. Since then, the couple has been going strong and seems to be using their celebrity status to improve each other's careers. Bella has maintained her modeling gig and now acts as a social media influencer, while The Weeknd has only grown in popularity, even has been cast to star in the new HBO Max called The Idol, chronicling a fictional pop star attempt to remain relevant and her meeting of a man named Tedros, a nightclub enthusiast who was just overall a terrible person. Now, it looks like his performance on the show had translated somehow into his life as the couple recently announced they split, leaving The Weeknd to do whatever it is The Weeknd does. Number 4. Bella Thorne and Scott Disick Who would have thought that CC from Shake It Up? would end up being the wild child she is today. Bella rose to fame on the Disney Channel, but has shifted her efforts these days to creating content online and working behind the scenes on films as a producer. During a recent stay in Cannes, France, she was spotted getting hot and heavy with Keeping Up with the Kardashians co-star Scott Disick. Scott was famous for dating and having three kids with Kourtney Kardashian. Now They took the internet by storm with the news of their romance, but that storm quickly turned to rainbows and sunshine as their love fizzled out almost as fast as it formed. Apparently 
apparently what happens in France stays in France, except for the smell that lingers for a while. Number 3. Drake Bell and Janet Von Schmeling Drake was a small screen sweetheart in the early 2000s, starring in several Nickelodeon shows like Drake and Josh and The Amanda Bynes Show. He was on track to be a mega star in the world of Hollywood, but unfortunately he is one of the many Nickelodeon stars who took a turn for the worst. He starred in a number of low budget flicks over the years, but his status as a celebrity was gone at that point, but the nail was driven into the coffin in 2021 when Drake was sentenced to 2 years probation and 200 hours of community service after it was revealed he had been grooming a young fan for years. So if you see him in an orange jumpsuit cleaning graffiti off the wall, you know why. Recently it was announced that his wife Janet had filed for divorce from Drake following a situation where he was missing for 5 days on a bender. On the actual paperwork, Janet has cited irreconcilable differences and has requested legal and physical custody of their child. In April of this year, Drake was reported missing only to turn up completely unharmed 5 days later. According to Janet, Drake's mental health has slowly been declining in the last few years. His toxicity towards his partners is nothing new, as his ex Melissa Lingefeld accused him of being verbally manipulative and physically violent. Between his rocky history and declining mental health, we're happy to see that Janet got out of there before anything too crazy took place. Number 2. Billy Porter and Adam Smith Billy and Adam have been together for 6 years before recently announcing their divorce. The American Horror Story star and his husband Adam met after being introduced by a mutual friend in 2009. They briefly dated but ultimately split before getting back together in 2015 and tying the knot a year later. Over the past few years, they have been one of Hollywood's favorite couples, regularly being spotted at award ceremonies and fancy events, happily holding on to each other. Unfortunately, their relationship seems to have slowly fizzled out as they announced they would be filing for divorce, and the decision wasn't made from a cheating scandal or something like that. This was a conversation they had and a decision they made mutually, claiming they will still be friends for the rest of their lives. They asked everyone to give them privacy, so let's skip the bad joke and move on to the next entry. And coming in at number 1 is Jeremy Allen White and Addison Timlin. Jeremy made a big move in the acting world after his FX comedy The Bear premiered on Disney Plus this past year, but he's actually been making people laugh, cry and scream since starring as Lip Gallagher in the hit TV series Shameless, a show I definitely haven't watched 10 times start to finish. Nope, not at all. He met his future wife Addison on set of a film called After School in 2008, and they were close friends for almost 12 years before becoming an official item in 2019. The relationship has mainly taken place behind the scenes, apart from a few Instagram posts, but Jeremy's love for his wife has been well known since his acceptance speech at the 2023 Golden Globes, where he won the award for Best Actor in a Musical or Comedy Series. Unfortunately, roughly two months ago, Addison filed for divorce from Jeremy with little to no explanation so far. Three days following the divorce announcement, she posted a pic with herself and her daughter on Instagram with the caption, Single Mom. News to Jeremy, who was under the impression they would continue to co-parent. While their relationship may have ended in a mess, there may be a new one on the horizon, as Jeremy was spotted with Wizards of Waverly Place star Selena Gomez, fresh off of filming a new project overseas, so we'll just have to see what happens. Starting off our list today at number 10, we have Selena Gomez and Zayn Malik. With Selena and Zayn Malik being spotted out enjoying a dinner date in New York City, many fans of the pop stars are very keen to know if a new romance is blossoming. With the news of Selena and Zayn coupling up, spreading across social media like wildfire at the moment thanks to an exchange of texts that went viral on TikTok as one fan allegedly spotted the pair enjoying a meal together, one user who worked at the unnamed restaurant went on to say, tell me how Selena Gomez and Zayn just walked into the restaurant hand in hand making out and I seated them. With Zayn now following Selena back on Instagram, she would become one of the 18 people that the singer follows which may be hinting they could be in a relationship, however not all of Selena's fans are exactly happy about her new relationship with Zayn as let's not forget his last relationship didn't exactly end so well especially since there's been reports stating that he shoved Gigi Hadid's mother and not only that but the star has a history of violence so it makes you wonder how this relationship might might turn out. Number 9. Justin and Hailey Bieber With everything going on with Hailey Bieber and Selena Gomez, it's been encouraging a lot of fans to urge the Canadian singer to split from his wife Hailey Bieber as she isn't the nicest girl we all thought she was. With Justin becoming Hailey's support system through this hard time, it seems to be coming a little too much for him as he's known Hailey was really happy in the beginning when she made an effort to make amends with Selena, put all their drama behind them. With the feud becoming even messier thanks to fans hitting the internet to make a slew of allegations and going back in time to gather everything which proves
proves to make Haley look like the bad guy. It's caused Haley to fall down this dark path. Justin struggling with his own health problems, all of this drama with Haley now has to start debating on if he should consider going into retirement from his career. But we can all hope if Justin does choose to leave his wife, let's hope he made her sign a prenup because I wouldn't put it past her to take everything he has. Hey my little peaches, are you liking this video so far? If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you never have to miss on what we might just cover next. Coming in at number 8, we have Avril Lavigne and Tyga. Just after 2 years of being in a relationship, Avril Lavigne would break things off with her fiance, Maud son, and then be pictured out with Tyga. With the couple sparking dating rumors after they were spotted having dinner with several friends in Malibu, Avril would soon break off her engagement with Maud's son while he was on his music tour. With Maud being blindsided by Avril when the pair confirmed their relationship after they were spotted kissing during Paris Fashion Week, they also went on to pose for the paparazzi as they made their way into a party. With the reports in the beginning stating that the couple were just friends and that the rapper allegedly had nothing to do with Levine and Son's split, Avril has now been seen moving on from her relationship with Maud Son and into a relationship with Tyga. Maud Son has been left feeling heartbroken about his relationship and it's left the world wondering how long Tyga and Avril could have been seeing each other before she decided to leave her ex fiance, especially since she would call off their engagement just three days after he left for his tour. Maude now taking to his Instagram to share his thoughts, he would say, One week, my entire life completely changed. Number seven, Kanye West and Bianca Sensory. Australian Yeezy designer Bianca Sensory was thrown into the spotlight back in January after headlines started to state that she married Kanye West in a non legal binding ceremony. With Bianca's family being happy to hear about her news, it said that the pair held a private ceremony and since they have been spotted out in public wearing wedding bands. However, even with Kanye moving on from his ex wife, the hads and stopped people from pointing out his new bra. It's just another Kim Kardashian look-alike. And now that the pair are married, she has since been spotted out constantly looking identical to his ex Kim Kardashian. It makes you wonder if Kanye's making her his personal doll, or is she doing this to win over the controversial rapper's heart? And with reports, it would soon emerge stating that Kim Kardashian has been suspicious of her ex-husband's new wife, as before she even split from Kanye, she noticed that these two had a very strange, tense relationship. But either way, it's pretty weird that you marry someone you employ and then they start acting like Kim Kardashian. Number 6, Megan Fox and MGK. With all of the mess that happened during the Super Bowl with Megan Fox and MGK, the whole world has been wondering if the stars are still in a relationship or did they actually split up? However, it seems like the couple is still together despite the cheating rumors. As it's been reported that they are currently still dating, they just aren't on speaking terms, whatever that means. As according to reports, she briefly shared a statement on social media to refute a lot of the theories that have been surrounding the current state of her relationship with MGK after she came out to claim that there was no cheating involved and that she regretted making the whole thing so public because she was really upset in the moment. But at the end of the day, we all still wonder why the star is still with MGK. Clearly, she still loves Shia LaBeouf as she came out to say something about that recently and let's face it, who dates MGK especially since Eminem ended his career to the point he had to turn to acting and then punk rock music because the rap industry was like, see you later. Number 5. Khloe Kardashian and Tristan Thompson Thompson. Back in March, The Sun would publish an article where they would prove that Khloe Kardashian is back with her cheating baby daddy. And with the whole scenario, it makes us wonder what the heck Khloe is doing. With the pair's relationship being filled with infidelity, biggest bombshell of their on and off relationship would be dropped in June of 2021 when his personal trainer claimed that she was pregnant with Tristan's baby and that she would be suing him for child support. And when the kid actually turned out to be his to make matters worse, Khloe even shouted out Tristan for being a good father and fans would quickly come to slam Chloe for their relationship, as apparently Tristan doesn't even parent any of his other kids, and the only ones he does is actually Chloe's. With Chloe's sisters like Kim also becoming good friends with the star, inviting him out to attend their children's basketball games, proves Tristan is finally back in the family and that the pair are back together, but who knows how long until they split up again, and who might just split them up? Number 4. Blueface and Chris Sean Rock As Chris Sean Rock and Blueface prepare to welcome a child together, we all can't help but point out that their relationship 
relationship has some really toxic traits that prove that they would honestly be better off if they were to split up. With Blueface finally coming to the realization that he actually might be expecting a kid with his on and off again girlfriend, it has him wishing he never left his first baby mama. As from time to time, we've even seen the rapper go on Twitter and go into this massive rant about Krishan, especially after she posted a photo of her baby bump, which has a lot of fans also wondering if she's pregnant because the photo looked a little sus. There's no debate when it comes to Krishan's relationship as it's now at its highest rocky point and the fact that they are now dissing it out on Twitter, he has remained firm about doubting that he's even the father of her child and even his mom believes Krishan is faking her pregnancy. With Blueface seriously dissing the messy rapper, he's also gone to praise his ex baby mother and, and how she was classy and how she presented herself in her last pregnancy and for not having weird men around her kids. However, one thing is for sure, Krishan is pregnant with Blueface's kid, we're going to see a messy custody battle take place. Number 3. Bad Bunny and Kendall Jenner Between the constant paparazzi, hate from all sides of the internet fandoms, and a new feud that threatens to tear them apart, I just have to ask if we think that Kendall Jenner and Bad Bunny even like each other anymore, because all this controversy surrounding them can exactly be a fun situation to be in. Well I mean, it's kind of interesting because I have something new to dive into for all of you. For the stars, it's definitely not a great situation to be in. And for Kendall, it seems like she isn't too happy about any of the drama surrounding her new relationship and, and she's reportedly mad at Bad Bunny's new song. As part of his verse takes fire shots at Kendall's ex-boyfriend Evan Booker. And he even took a dig at Kendall in the lyrics when he hinted that Scorpio women are dangerous. And I mean, that is true, but only when you double cross us. With Bad Bunny's lyrics only being mild, it's causing some issues between the pair as Kendall is not impressed. Number 2. Kylie Jenner and Manu Rio Just after splitting up from Travis Scott, Kylie Jenner sparked dating rumors after she was spotted looking a little too cozy with Spanish actor Manu Rios during Paris Fashion Week. While the two were spotted smiling and chatting while they sat front row of the show, fans would start going crazy over the idea and they would start to speculate that there was some romance going on. And this would come just after Kylie revealed that she split from her baby daddy Travis Scott. The news would come after Travis was seen seemingly missing from Kourtney Kardashian's epic Christmas Eve party, and Kylie's trip to Aspen over New Year's Eve. With Kylie and Travis sharing two children together, their split wouldn't really come to a surprise. As to many, it seems like right now, Kylie doesn't want to be in a relationship and she just wants to have a family, so whenever she wants another child, she gets back with Travis so then they can get loved up, have another child, and as soon as she gives birth, she kicks him out of the picture. It just seems like the star can't find the one and because of that, she takes advantage of her position with Travis. and when he needed her most this year, she was like, okay, bye. And coming in number one today, we have Madonna and Josh Popper. Back in March, Madonna started popping up all over the media headlines. And she went on to confirm her relationship with her 29 year old rumor boyfriend, Josh Popper. Her relationship immediately started to face backlash as Madonna is old enough to be the boxer's grandmother as she's 64 years old. After the couple went on to pose for multiple photographs of themselves, Madonna seemingly hinted that there was romance brewing between the two. What makes our situation even more bizarre though is that apparently they only met after Josh started coaching one of her kids. And since getting together, the duo's relationship has been talked about all over town, especially since Madonna only just recently called it quits with her 23 year old relationship to a 23 year old who she got romantically involved with in September. Which goes on to show that Madonna likes her men young and she isn't scared to push boundaries to stay relevant. Starting off this countdown, we have Avril Levine and Modson. And it seems like Avril. Avril said, see you later boy, as reps confirmed that the pair have broken up. Which seems hard to believe because they were head over heels for each other. The news came almost one year after the pair got engaged. Now what's crazy is that Avril has been spotted going out with Tyga, so she moved on very fast. Not only that, but Mod Sun said he had no idea that him and Avril even broke up. His rep said, and I quote, they were together and engaged as of three days ago when he left for tour, so if anything has changed, that's news to him. He apparently found out after the news of her and Tyga made headlines. Moving on to number 9, we have Macy Williams and Ruben Selby. Now this one came as a huge shock to fans since they were dating for 5 years. That's a long time to spend with one person, and we were expecting an engagement between the two, but 
Nope. So the pair made their relationship public in 2019. The news broke on February 23rd after Macy shared a selfie of the two to her Instagram story with the caption, the end of an era, with a broken heart emoji. Her explanation went as so. At Ruben Selby underscore and I decided to end our relationship. Since we met five years ago, our connection always extended deeply into our shared and separate creative careers, and it will continue to do so. This decision is something we are so grateful for, so as we can protect the magic that we can't help but emit whenever we put our brains together. Concluding the statement, she said no further questions for the time being, and added that they must protect their children, which was a reference to her dog. How sad though. In our eighth spot, we have Maddie Ziegler and Eddie Benjamin. The two began the relationship in 2019, but didn't go public with it until March of 2020. The two dated for more than three years and just called it quits which again came as a huge shock. Fans thought that the two were endgame and were going to get engaged. When speaking of her partner, Maddie said things like, and I quote, I feel very excited every day that I get to date him. We have such a good time together and we were best friends for a really long time before we dated. It's like I'm just hanging out with my best friend every day. It's really fun, it's honestly the best, I love it. So it's crazy how things can change that fast. In our seventh spot, we have Kylie Jenner and Travis Scott. The two have had an on again, off again relationship for quite some time, but this time it seems like they have called it quits once and for all. The reason being, well, according to a source, Kylie is very focused on her kids and her business, whereas Travis Scott, on the other hand, is a partier. Kylie isn't into partying right now, so they are butting heads about their different focuses. But now, although they weren't engaged, rumor has it that there were talks about it. But now, it seems like that possibility is completely off the table. And at number 6 we have Shannon Beter and John Jansen. The Real Housewives of Orange County star Shannon Beter and her partner John Jansen have called it quits this year. Shannon moved on to John pretty fast after her messy divorce from ex-husband David Beater. In 2019, Shannon revealed that she had a new man in her life and that the two had met through mutual friends. When talking about her relationship, she said, and I quote, I've never been happier. I'm in a really great place. My friends have known him for 30 years, so I didn't have to make sure he was there for the right reasons. He's just a great person. I have a great connection with him. Now, Shannon and John ended things in November of 2022, but were on and off again until January of this year. That's when she finally revealed that they are no longer together. John said, and I quote, We're two people who love each other very much, but love is not always enough. And while I know Shannon sees it as I've said things to her I never meant, I hope she'll be able to see that there's no bad person here. It's two really good people who couldn't make it work. I think the world of Shannon, I just want the best for her. She deserves that. Now Shannon added, and I quote, I was hopeful this was the man I was going to spend the rest of my life with. I wanted it to work out. I've never loved anyone like I've loved John, but clearly he didn't feel the same way. So it seems as if Shannon thought John was the one and was ready for him to be endgame, but he didn't feel the same about her. We are now at our fifth and halfway mark with Nick Vile and Natalie Joy. Bachelor Nation's Nick Vile has recently revealed that he has popped the question to girlfriend Natalie Joy, and she said yes. The two revealed the news in a joint Instagram post on January 12th. The post featured their engagement photos and said, and I quote, For the rest of my life, it's you. Now. Here's the thing, people are saying that this relationship is doomed to fail and have predicted they will call off their engagement this year. Why? Well first off, they got engaged very, very quickly, within a year. Not only that, but people pointed out their age gap. Nick is 42 years old, while Natalie is 24 years old. That's an 18 year age gap. Now they may prove us wrong. Who knows? I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Moving on to number four, we have Lily James and Michael Schumann. Lily James and rock star boyfriend Michael Schumann have broken up following claims that they were engaged. The two dated for about two years and have said that over the past couple of months, they just grew apart. The couple were first spotted in February of 2021, sharing a kiss outside a hotel that Lily was staying in while filming the movie What's Love Gotta Do With It? The 
couple made it official at the Oscars in 2022 where they made their first red carpet debut together. Then in August of 2022, the two sparked engagement rumors when Lily was spotted rocking a ring on her ring finger. But the two have drifted apart and are no longer together. In our third spot, we have <clears throat> in our third spot we have Ty Herndon and Alex. Here is another couple that fans think rushed into an engagement. After dating for just six months, Ty Herndon and Alex have gotten engaged. Ty said, and I quote, After all this time, I have met the person I know I'm gonna spend the rest of my life with. Alex is a brilliant artist and craftsman who restores mid-century furniture and makes stained glass art. He will also be starting work on his MBA soon. He's a smarty y'all, and I can't wait for all of you to get to know him. Not only that, but apparently they have already started to plan the wedding and want it later this year. Again, fans think that they are rushing into things and everything is happening so fast that it's doomed to fail. Hopefully, they can prove these people wrong though. Coming in at number 2, we have Fallon Pina and Jalen Banks. Real Housewives of Atlanta star Fallon Pina and her fiance Jalen Banks have broken up nearly 16 months after getting married. In a joint statement released on February 9th, the two said, and I quote, It is with deep sadness in our hearts that we have decided to end our journey as a couple. Though we love each other very much, we feel it is best to part ways. Our bond as friends and family will never be broken. We ask for privacy at this time. Now, this news comes just a month after she announced that she sadly suffered a pregnancy loss. And and in our number one spot, we have Megan Fox and Machine Gun Kelly. Now, these two were quite the item. They seemed madly in love with each other, even saying that they drink each other's blood. Is that couple goals or what? Just kidding. But recently, there seems to be a bit of bad blood between them. Get it? Bad blood. <laughs> now, it's not 100% sure what went down, but it's been alluded to that Machine Gun Kelly cheated on Megan. Dude, first of all, who cheats on Megan Fox, okay? They're crazy. Anyway, apparently the two had a big fight over the Super Bowl weekend, which led to Megan taking off her engagement ring. The same source claimed that Megan is very upset and won't even speak to her fiance. This news came days after Megan posted lyrics on her Instagram, all hinting at dishonesty and cheating. Coming in at number 10 today, we have Travis Scott and Kylie Jenner. Kylie has been leaning on Kim and Chloe a lot lately. They're all single and raising kids, and it's clear that finding a good partner isn't easy, which is what they're all bonding over lately. Recently, an insider told Life & Style exclusively on January 9th that Kim and Chloe are the first ones to tell Kylie to keep Travis close even if the relationship is pretty much over. The pair first split back in 2019 but reunited as a couple in June 2021 making Reconciliation debut at Parsons School Benefit Gala as a couple with Stormy helping make it a family affair. While accepting an award at the event, Travis gushed and said, Stormy, I love you, and wifey, I love you. The couple would then break up for a second time, and it would be confirmed on January 7th that the couple split after they spent both Christmas and New Year's apart. With the two sharing two beautiful children, it seems like every time they split, it's after Kylie gives birth, and then they get back together when she's ready to have another one, and doesn't see Travis more than a baby daddy. Number nine, Brittany Snow and Tyler Stan a land. Brittany Snow had officially filed for divorce from Tyler Staniland in court documents filed in the Superior Court of California in Los Angeles County on Thursday. The someone great star cited irreconcilable differences as the reason for their breakup and she noted that they have a prenuptial agreement which will determine any spousal support and how they divide their property. She also asked that she and Tyler split attorney fees. Brittany and Tyler, who got engaged in 2019, later tied the knot in March 2020 and they announced their separation in September. Snow's filing doesn't note what date they actually separated and attorneys for Brittany haven't responded to the situation and it's still not clear if Tyler has a lawyer who can comment on his behalf as of yet. When the couple did announce their separation in September, they would post identical statements on their Instagram pages that said, after time and consideration, Tyler and I have made the difficult decision to separate. This decision was made with love and mutual respect for one another. 
We've realized we need to take some time and make sure we are each living our most fulfilling and authentic lives. We started this journey as best friends and our relationship will continue to be a priority not only for us, but for our dog Charlie. We sincerely appreciate your support and ask for privacy as we navigate this new chapter. Hey my little peaches, are you liking this video so far? If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Coming in number eight, we have Noelle Gallagher and Sarah McDonald. Noelle Gallagher and Sarah McDonald were one of those couples we thought would be married forever because they found their happily ever after a long time ago. However, the champagne supernova singer and Sarah announced their split on January 16th after being married for more than 20 years. Their split would highlight that nothing good lasts forever, so it's probably time for all of us big dreamers to stop dreaming about such big dreams when it comes to our love lives. A spokesperson on behalf of Noelle and Sarah would confirm the couple are to get divorced following their split. A statement was then later obtained by US Weekly, and in the statement it would say, Noelle and Sarah will together continue to look after their children who remain their main priority. Noelle and Sarah asked the media to respect their privacy and that of their family at this time. Well, I can only imagine something brutal must have happened for them to come to the decision to split after 20 years of marriage. I'm sure once the divorce is finalized, more stories will come to light. Coming at number seven, we have Deanna Pepes and Steven Stagliano. The season four Bachelorette star Deanna Pepes and her husband Steven Stagliano announced on January 19th that she and her husband had called it quits after being married for 10 years. Deanna would head over to her Instagram to say, it is with immense sadness. Steven and I had decided to end our relationship as a couple. We have been working hard for a long time, both as a married couple and as individuals and have come to the conclusion to remain separate. Deanna would then add that she and Steven will always remain loving parents to their two children, Addison and Austin, and will continue to raise them together with love and faith. But still, when it comes to The Bachelor and The Bachelorette, I don't don't think any of us are really surprised as for one it seems like none of them last together as couples and lastly how is anyone okay going on a show knowing you have to beat out a dozen men or females to date one guy or one girl is it really worth it knowing he or she is dating all of you and telling you all the same thing and then he's finally like yep this is the person this is the one but you just played your cards right that week number six Ashley Darby and Luke Galbranson it seemed like a match made in Bravo heaven when the Real Housewives a photo Mac star got together with a summer house cast member. But after only a few months of dating, Ashley announced that the pair called it quits during a January 8th appearance on Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen by saying, Luke and I are not romantically involved anymore. She would then also cite the strain of her ongoing divorce from Michael Darby being one of the causes, adding, it was my situation with Michael that affected Luke and I. However, Ashley would say the breakup was mutual and that there was no bad blood between the two by saying, I met his whole family, they are amazing, I fell in love with them. So great. But I am newly single and this was my first relationship after she confessed. It was just nice to be reminded that I'm that girl and I love to love and be loved. The two first met when they began flirting it up at BravoCon in October 2022 and then went Instagram official just a few days before Christmas. Coming in number 5 we have Louis Tomlinson and Eleanor Cadler. One Direction singer Louis Tomlinson and longtime love Eleanor Caldler kept their romance out of the public eye for years. However, it has now been reported that the couple has apparently split. So back in July, you may recall that fans started to speculate that there might be trouble in paradise for the pair. As some pointed out that Lewis and Eleanor unfollowed each other on Instagram. However, with the two now still following each other, it leaves you to wonder where they may stand with each other now. The duo first sparked rumors back in 2011 and when their relationship started, it's unclear, but Eleanor has been with Lewis since his early days of his One Direction fame. Back in 2015, the pair would briefly split, but then they would eventually rekindle their romance in 2017. And in January this year, news started to circulate that the couple had split when a source told The Sun at the time they have mutual friends and a long history. So at the moment, it doesn't look like a reunion at some point is completely off the cards, but now they are not together. However, neither couple has responded and inside sources have stated that the breakup was caused after pressure was put on their relationship because the singer was on tour. Other things have gone down between them and for now, at least, they have split up. Number four, Drake Bell and Janet Von Schmeling. Troubled former Nickelodeon star Drake Bell has separated from his wife, 
actress Janet Von Schmeling amid his latest struggles. Inside sources have since confirmed that the two are headed towards a divorce. On December 7th and 8th, Drake was spotted inhaling balloons in his car in a car park of California vape shop while his son sat in the back seat. An insider would then tell the New York Post that Janet had officially had enough. Drake and Janet first started dating in 2013 and married in an intimate ceremony in 2018. Now, it seems like Janet has moved back to Florida with their son and it has been reported that she has secured a home and is getting support from her family. While the stars have had some incredibly beautiful moments together, before all this happened, Janet feels like Drake needs to focus on his health and that they will be great co-parents in the future. Coming in number 3, Corinne Olympios and Jerry Morris. Corinne Olympios and Jerry Morris have called it quits and inside sources have confirmed that their busy careers and trust issues are behind their sudden breakup. With their breakup happening suddenly, many of their friends were surprised to hear the news. Despite the shocking split, sources have confirmed that The Bachelor star is doing great and is excited about her next chapter. And they would also say that Corinne and Jerry still want to remain on good terms. Their lives were just going in different directions. Corinne's reps first confirmed that she and Jerry started dating back in June and that she was really happy with the music manager by saying, Corinne has been dating Jerry and she's really happy. It's a new relationship in the beginning stages. But she's really excited. He treats her amazing and she's optimistic while enthusiastic to see how their relationship develops. With separate sources telling ET on January 9th, they would all confirm that Corinne and Jerry both decided to split because they both wanted really different things when it came to their relationship. Number 2, Shannon Beater and John Jansen. The Real Housewives of Orange County star Shannon Beater and her boyfriend of three and a half years, John Jansen, have ended their relationship and Shannon has confirmed that she was blindsided by their breakup when he broke up with her just one week after they finished filming season 17 of the beloved Bravo reality series. Shannon would say, All I can do is repeat in my head what he said to me while we were filming. We were in a great place, but seven days later when the cameras were down, it was a completely different story, which usually it is. He told me he was done with the relationship, and to hear what he said to me, then was absolutely devastating. John would also speak to people where he would note that it was a really hard decision to make and he has been in pain over it. Before he would say, sad because I love Shannon very much. I have loved her more deeply than any woman in my life. She's one of a kind, so funny and generous and full of life and adventurous. We have a connection that's unlike anything I've ever had and I know that for as long as I live, I'll never meet anyone like her again. But that doesn't mean we're meant for each other for the rest of our lives says every guy during a breakup. Number 1. Emily Ratajkowski and Pete Davidson While these two only sparked relationship questions near the end of 2022, Emily has recently opened up about her dating troubles and she kind of shaded Pete Davidson in the process. With their romance fizzling out by the end of December, Emily has recently headed to her podcast High Low where she detailed her dating woes, saying that she attracts the worst men and she would even hint at her relationship with Pete Davidson and the split and that's why she made the list today. She would go on to say, that's what I hate with dating. Men in particular, they're like, okay, yes, you're special, you've done it, and they love it and they love it. And then slowly they get emasculated and they don't know what to do with those feelings and then they resent you. They start to tear you down and then you're back to square one and it's so effed up and unfair because I feel like a lot of men that truly think they want a strong woman actually don't know how to handle it and what it means for their own identity. Number 10, Jada Pinkett Smith and Will Smith. Now it's no secret that these two have had a very troubled marriage, mainly because Jada Pinkett Smith refuses to keep a secret about anything. The hatred I have for that woman knows no bounds. Every time this woman farts, she is on a morning show just giving the world the dirty details the next day. Recently, she decided to tell the world that she had been separated from her husband Will since 2016 and a whole bunch of other stuff that, again, I just truly don't have the mental capacity to talk about right now. Jada revealed that she was hesitant about marrying Will and the only reason that she actually went through with it was because she was pregnant with Jaden at the time and was told that it was the right thing to do. Considering how she's handled their marriage and life in general, we're pretty Pretty sure it's actually Will that regrets this one. Number nine, Britney Spears and Jason Alexander. Britney and Jason's marriage is well known to be one of the shortest celebrity marriages of all time, lasting a total of 
55 hours. Brittany went into great detail about the brief and whirlwind marriage in her memoir, The Woman and Me. According to both parties, the night was the result of an apparent last minute call to action, if you will. Jason had received a request from Brittany to make his way to Las Vegas for a night of fun. He arrived and there were apparently a few party favors, which is code for no, no snow. After a few rounds of fun, they decided it would be a great idea to get married because they were in Vegas. Why not, right? They were married on January 3rd and by the end of the day on January 5th, they decided decided to split up. According to the court documents attached to the annulment, they claimed that Brittany had zero understanding of how serious the situation really was or what getting legally married actually meant. That is really all it boiled down to. He was just a friend helping another friend in a time of need, and at that time, she needed someone to bury their face in a pile of no-no snow and put a ring on it. Number eight, Tracy Edmonds and Eddie Murphy. Eddie is, of course, best known for his comedic roles in movies like The Nutty Professor and Meet Dave, but he is also known for being quite a player. He's been attached, romantically speaking, to several celebrities over the years, even sharing a daughter with Mel B from the Spice Girls. However, his most short-lived and questionable marriage was to his friend Tracy Edmonds. The two did not get married legally in the United States. Instead, they had a small ceremony in the French Polynesian region of Bora Bora. The quick shift from lovers to enemies had apparently been the result of Eddie's personality completely shifting the moment that they decided to get married. According to a friend close to Tracy, Eddie started getting very physically intimidating and bossy as their marriage became official. He also insisted that his mother came with them on their honeymoon, which that's a red flag. That was the final straw for Tracy, and after two weeks, she decided to call it quits for good. What many people may not know is that Eddie actually has about 10 kids with multiple women. Two more, and he can star in his own Cheaper by the Dozen remake. Eddie is known in Hollywood for having a bit of a shifting personality, but these days he seems to have gotten more comfortable in his role as a papa. Number seven, Kim Kardashian and Chris Humphreys. Kim and Chris became acquainted after one of Chris's NBA teammates introduced them. They got together and dated for a little under a year before Chris popped the question. They got married, and the entire ceremony was released as a special on E! called Kim's Fairy Tale Wedding. And I want to vomit when I say that out loud. The special aired only days before she filed for a divorce, and according to a source close to the couple, Chris was not drinking the Kardashian Kool-Aid, so to speak. Chris was the one who filed the annulment and cited fraud as the reason. According to him, the marriage was not born out of love, it was just Kim agreeing to marry him so that they could film it and make some money. The entire thing in his eyes was just one big publicity stunt, and honestly, I believe him. A ton of celebrities get married all the time, but when these guys tied the knot, it was at the peak of keeping up with the Kardashians, and this just seemed like a logical move to increase viewers and make some extra cash. As the divorce dragged on, Kim moved on to Kanye West, and not long after, announced their first child was on the way. Ever since that divorce was settled in 2013, Chris has avoided the spotlight in every way, shape, and form. Number six, Nick Cage and Lisa. Lisa Marie Presley. Nick Cage is not just a wild man when it comes to the characters that he plays on screen, he's actually apparently a whirlwind of emotions, romantically speaking as well. He's had five marriages altogether, with his shortest and most regretful one being with the late Lisa Marie Presley in 2002. They had met at a party in 2000, and after two years of dating, they decided to make things official, but only three months later, the divorce papers were signed, sealed, and delivered. It actually took another two years for the divorce to become final. According to Nick, the marriage was a no brainer. They had fun together and both came from famous and artistic families. He later commented that when you put two people with larger than life personalities in front of each other, they can have trouble meshing together. They fell into a pattern of breaking up and getting back together over and over again until the correct decision in their eyes was to tie the knot. As you know, the best way to start a marriage is by wearing them down. Number five, Tom Green and Drew Barrymore. Tom Green is a great comedian, and when he appears in things delivering his signature brand of comedy, it's just a fun little surprise. It turns out that Tom and his former Charlie's Angels co-star Drew Barrymore were briefly married in the early 2000s. The two met on set of that film and dated for a year before getting married. One year after that, they filed for a divorce. The fact was that at the time, they were both just young and got a little bit too excited. Barrymore told Howard Stern on his show in 2020 that 
she and her then husband just didn't have the maturity needed to have a healthy relationship. She said that she did not know how to manage herself, and she's always said that she is a woman in the boardroom and a child at home. She could pitch a project, but had trouble handling things in her own personal life. The two reconnected on an episode of the Drew Barrymore show where they greeted each other like old friends. Apparently, they just put things in the past a long time ago and considered that time to have been a learning experience. Number four, Chad Michael Murray and Sophia Bush. After meeting on the set of the CW series One Tree Hill, Chad and Sophia got together as a real world couple. During an interview with MTV, he gushed about Sophia being the most wonderful, kind, and intelligent person that he had ever been with. The couple got together officially in 2005, but their love was short lived. As soon as they got married, Chad started doing press for the horror film House of Wax, literally being forced to spend his honeymoon sitting in chairs and telling people how much fun it was to work with Jared Padalecki. After only five months of marriage and the relationship just kind of simply fizzled out, they decided to split. Unfortunately for them, this meant being forced to continue working together on One Tree Hill. According to them, the split and the following acting gig was not easy for them to do. At the end of the day though, they are both adults who made the show work as best as they could. The main thing that made it so hard was all of the press and negativity from media outlets with the network literally playing ads about how terrible things were during the show. Eventually, they found love with other people and so far, so good. Most people are probably just upset that his wife didn't end up being Hilary Duff. Number three, Elizabeth Moss and Fred Armisen. Saturday Night Live has been the cause of many famous relationships in Hollywood. Current Weekend Update host Colin Jost met and married Scarlett Johansson after she hosted the show in 2010. They took some time before actually dating, but are currently married and things seem to be doing well. Elizabeth was in a similar situation after making a cameo during the show in 2008 when her Mad Men co-star John Hamm was hosting. This is where she met comedian and drummer Fred Armisen. Fred is well known outside of the world of SNL for his stellar character acting and overall just talent to make people laugh. He was most recently featured in one of the final episodes of the series Wednesday on Netflix as Uncle Fester, but has been working hard behind the scenes for years. Himself and Liz got together in 2008 and started seeing each other regularly, developing a romantic connection and getting engaged only three months after they were official. By 2009, they were married and by all accounts seemed happy, but less than a year after that, they split with Elizabeth Moss claiming irreconcilable differences on the paperwork. In the following year, she got more in-depth about the marriage and revealed that Fred may be known for his impressions, but his best one is that of a normal human being. Not long after Lizzie made these statements, Fred actually backed that up, telling Howard Stern that he was a terrible boyfriend and husband. He clarified that when he's in a relationship, he wants it all fast and he wants marriage placed together, and somewhere around a year or so, he gets freaked out emotionally. Elizabeth actually used the words traumatic, awful, and horrible when describing her time with Fred. Number two, Bradley Cooper and Jennifer Esposito. The relationship between these two was short and sweet, but also very private, so there is no clear idea of when they actually met or got together officially. They actually didn't even tell the public that they were a couple for the first few months of their relationship. In 2006, they tied the knot in the south of France, and roughly five months later, they had split. Brad has a track record of dating his co-stars, having been involved with Renee Zellweger, Zoe Zeldana, and Suki Waterhouse, to name a few. However, those marriages lasted longer than this one did. Jen filed for a divorce, but recalled that the split was a mutual decision. Bradley revealed that they just both realized they had chosen the wrong person to live the rest of their lives with, despite the love between them. They stayed private between A and B, and these days continue to keep their information private, so let's move on to number one. Number one, Jim Carrey and Lauren Holly. Jim has had his fair share of marriages and relationships over the years. He met his first wife, Melissa, in the 80s when they were both financially struggling. Their relationship was rocky, and eventually they were divorced. By the time the papers were finalized, he had already met and started getting serious with Lauren Holly, his co-star from Dumb and Dumber. According to Melissa, she believed that there was some crossover between herself and Lauren being a third party that split them up in the first place, but Holly has denied these accusations through and through. Their marriage only lasted one year before Holly and Carrie split for good. The split was again nothing more than just the natural progression of a failed relationship, things did go stale, and they did not want to get stuck in a rut. And why not? Honorable mention, Pamela Anderson and Kid Rock. Just cuz. 
Number 10, Luann and Tom D'Agostino. Real Housewives of New York cast members Luann and Tom D'Agostino weren't the greatest pair and everyone on set could have told you that. The toxicity ran deep with these two, but most of it stemmed from Tom. The other cast members actually warned Luann about Tom, saying that he was untrustworthy and that he was still in love with his ex, but even with that warning, Luann continued her romance and the two got married on New Year's Eve in 2016. At the end of the show's eighth season, it was revealed that one of the cast members had compromising photos of Tom kissing another woman just days after his and Luann's engagement party. This was a big red flag as you can imagine. Soon it became apparent to the public that there were some serious problems in their relationship as Luann and Tom got into a heated argument in public at a restaurant, which ended with Luann slapping Tom across the face. This heated relationship and Tom's constant cheating never subsided, as days before their divorce announcement, Tom was caught with yet another woman, but at that point, no one was really all that surprised. They were only married for seven months, but those were the craziest seven months of their lives. Luann regrets not listening to her castmates when they warned her about Tom, and she wishes she never married such an awful person. At number nine, Chad Johnson and Evelyn Lozada. Chad Johnson, also known as Chad Ochocinco, and ex-wife Evelyn Lozada were only married for two months, but so much happened in that short amount of time to permanently damage their relationship. Their relationship was intense and toxic, but it wasn't until after they got married that the world really learned just how awful it was. After dating for less than a year, the two were wed in a 4th of July ceremony in 2012, but just two months later, there came an incident that broke them apart. Evelyn recalled finding a receipt in Chad's car for items that prompted the idea that Chad was cheating. The two fought and it all ended with Chad seriously injuring his wife. Chad was arrested for battery and DV, and they divorced shortly after the incident. Evelyn did an interview after the ordeal where she opened up about her feelings on the situation and how her life had been affected by it. After that, the couple split Split up and moved on with their lives. Before we carry on talking about some of the worst celebrity marriages, let me first ask you guys to consider leaving a like on this video if you're enjoying it so far, and also consider subscribing to the channel as well to see more videos like this one. At number eight, Elizabeth Taylor and Conrad Hilton. Elizabeth Taylor was one of Hollywood's most memorable icons, and surprisingly, she was married eight times. She had many stories and encounters to recall throughout her life, but one of her shortest and most regrettable marriages she had was to hotel heir Conrad Hilton. The two were only married for 205 days before undoing their marriage after feeling neglected and hurt by her new husband. She was only 18 at the time of her marriage, but shortly after their wedding, Liz recalled how indifferent Conrad was towards her and how hurt she felt when he spoke to her using abusive language. Liz won her divorce on the grounds of mental cruelty. She refused alimony and took back her maiden name. It was almost like it never happened and Liz wanted it that way. She knew that she deserved better in life and refused to put up with Conrad's horrible treatment of her. During their honeymoon, the two reportedly fought a lot and spent more time apart than they did together, so this was one of the first red flags that things just weren't right between them. She later told news sources that her idea of marriage was very naive and so she regretted her decision. She lived a better life without him anyway. At number seven, Ike and Tina Turner. Tina Turner is an absolute legend. And to think that someone would ever want to hurt this talented woman is honestly so sad. Ike and Tina were a musical powerhouse, but they had a tumultuous and toxic relationship, leaving Tina regretting having ever known him. The two met while Tina was still a teenager, and they began performing together, starting their musical act. In 1962, the two got married and continued to perform together for the following decade. Though they were a successful duo, Ike had been severely hurting Tina behind the scenes, causing her so much pain that she didn't deserve and even prompting her to try to take her own life. After surviving her attempt, she made it her mission to leave Ike and begin a fresh start on her own. That's exactly what she did and she became an even bigger star because of it. At number six, Jennifer Lopez and Ojani Noah. Jennifer Lopez is no stranger to walking down the aisle. She's been married three times already, but the one relationship that was her worst was her first marriage to Ojani Noah. Their marriage lasted less than a year, but their tumultuous drama that came after their divorce has lasted much longer. It seems as though their relationship was destined to fail, as Ojani documented a lot of JLo's life behind the scenes, saving it for later for his own tea spill. Noah tried leaking videos from the couple's honeymoon after their divorce, showing the singer in an intimate setting, and in years since, has been very outspoken about the singer, her career, and even had plans to release a tell-all book about his ex, followed by a movie deal. 
He really came into the relationship for his own personal gain, not for love, it seems. JLo actually ended up suing Ojani in 2009 for $10 million, citing that the videos he released, as well as the book and movie deals, violated an agreement that they had, which prohibited him from exposing the singer's life. Jennifer now looks back on this relationship with regret and doesn't even count her marriage to Ajani as valid because of how short it was. At number five, John Finley and Joe Exotic. We all know about Joe Exotic and his crazy relationships. After he gained a little fame with the success of the Tiger King documentary on Netflix last year, he and the others involved in his life became sort of public figures. To give us more insight on Joe, his ex-husband John Finley recently came forward to talk about his life after the documentary brought him some minor popularity, and he exposed his former relationship with the now imprisoned Big Cat owner and exposed their marriage. John cannot express enough how regretful his marriage to Joe Exotic was. John said that this whole marriage was fake and toxic, and that it was just for Joe's popularity, remarking that the wedding that was shown in the documentary, which showed him, Joe, and Travis Maldonado, was all, quote, basically a publicity stunt so Joe could get his own reality TV series, end quote. John spoke out saying that he still carries the pain from his time with Joe and is trying to forget his past by moving on with his new wife and making steps towards having the tattoos of Joe removed from his body. Joe went through a lot of trauma when he was with Joe, but luckily he's moving on from this dark time in his life. At number four, Madonna and Guy Ritchie. Here's a marriage that was messy and toxic in every way possible. Madonna and Guy Ritchie divorced over 10 years ago, but their hatred towards one another still lives on, even if it's not as much as it used to be. The two were married for almost a decade, but their distaste for one another has lasted much longer, and because of this negativity, they no doubt regret ever being married in the first place. They both brought their own toxicity into the relationship, so I guess it could be said that they both married awful people because they were just as bad as each other. It seems like their marriage turned sour because Madonna was working so hard on her career and so things became strained between them and the hostility began to grow. Coming out of the divorce, the worst of it started to come out. Guy made a lot of harsh comments about his marriage to Madonna, comparing his relationship with the singer to a soap opera and also said that she was more concerned with her public image than she was with their marriage. Madonna fired back at her ex in the past, saying that she felt like she was incarcerated during their marriage and that Guy was nothing but a gold digger. There is just a lot of drama there which really shows that they weren't a good match at all. At number three, Wendy Williams and Kevin Hunter Sr. In 2019, talk show host Wendy Williams exposed her husband's serious affair with his massage therapist. Wendy's 20 year marriage to husband Kevin Hunter Sr. was dissolved after he was accused of not only cheating on Wendy, but also fathering another woman's child. When news broke of Kevin's affair, it was also revealed that the mistress had given birth to their child, and upon discovering this information, Wendy called it quits right then and there. When speaking out about the whole dramatic affair, Wendy said, quote, look, my husband had a full baby with a woman he was involved with for 15 years. Infidelity is one thing, a full baby is a whole nother topic. A baby. I'm not changing pampers. I want to be pampered. I learned from my mother how to make lemons into lemonade. What am I supposed to do? Stay in the house and cry all day? End quote. She definitely regrets her marriage to Kevin just because of how serious his affair was. She married an awful person because not only did he end up cheating on Wendy, but he had a whole child with another woman. At that point, I'm sure you would wish that you had never met that person in the first place. At number two, Alexis DeJoria, Sandra Bullock, and Jesse James. Once a cheater, always a cheater, right? That's normally how things go. Well, that's how drag racer Alexis DeJoria and Sandra Bullock feel about their ex-husband Jesse James. Jesse has earned the label of serial cheater after it was discovered that there was some serious infidelity plaguing not only his past relationship with Sandra Bullock, but also his most recent marriage to Alexis. Both Sandra and Alexis have been caught in a cheating scandal with Jesse, and his most recent scandal revealed that Jesse cheated on Alexis with at least 20 different women. According to some sources, it was revealed that Jesse snuck women into his family home with Alexis, as well as fly women out to Austin just to hook up with them in hotel rooms. It was also reported that Alexis tried her best to work things out with Jesse, but he just wasn't interested in making things work and healing their marriage. After all of this drama and broken trust, both Alexis and Sandra regret ever being married to Jesse because of how much disregard he seemed to have for both of their respective relationships. They both married an awful man and they certainly deserved a better partner. And finally, at number one, Mary Kate Olsen and Olivier Sarkozy. 
After multiple attempts and a lot of drama, Mary Kate Olsen filed for divorce from her husband Olivier Sarkozy in 2020. Mary Kate had tried multiple times to file for divorce from her husband through the New York City courts last year, but because of the pandemic and stay at home orders in New York, she was denied twice before finally having her paperwork accepted in late May. She wanted to get out of that marriage as soon as possible because drama and toxicity made it unbearable for her to go on any longer. The two had been married since 2015 and apparently had a number of rough patches, most notably their stance on starting a family. Olivier, who already had children with his ex-wife, didn't want any more, though Mary Kate did. And on top of that, apparently the tipping point in their relationship was when Olivier's ex-wife moved into the couple's home. Mary Kate seemed to have had enough with their disagreements and especially those which involved the ex-wife, so she decided to leave her husband. Following her desire to leave, her husband apparently kicked Mary Kate out of their home and she was close to losing all of her personal belongings. She later realized what an awful person she married, but I'm sure she's glad to be out of that relationship now. At number 10, Mike Tyson and Robin Givens. Mike Tyson's first marriage to wife Robin Givens was a rocky one. After 11 months of dating, the couple got married in 1988 in the wake of Robin's pregnancy, and afterwards, Mike gave Robin and her mother around $10 million to get them settled. In Mike's memoir, he accused Robin of marrying him and locking him into a relationship for her own gain, as he alleged that her pregnancy and subsequent miscarriage were faked in order to get him to marry her. In the media, Mike was dragged through the mud. There were allegations of mistreatment on Mike's part, and the infamous Barbara Walters interview did not help his image. The interview was originally supposed to be a one on one profile of Mike, but before the interview, Robin allegedly pulled Barbara aside and told her that she didn't have the whole truth about them. Robin was then invited to join the interview where she opened up about the things that she sustained while married to Mike and commenting on how she's been treated. And I woke up and I said, I don't deserve this. I never had this in my life before and I'm not gonna tolerate this. Soon after the interview, Robin filed for a divorce from Mike and was later caught cheating on him with Brad Pitt. Mike most definitely regrets marrying Robin as he said so in his book, and others refer to his marriage to Robin as quote, the one that ruined him. People online still debate who was in the wrong in this relationship and who was worse, but do you have any thoughts on this? Let me know down in the comments. At number 9, Axl Rose and Aaron Everly. The tumultuous relationship of Axl Rose and Aaron Everly is one that is certainly unforgettable, but not necessarily in the best way. The two met while Axl, the frontman for Guns N' Roses, was still a struggling musician in the early days of his music career. Aaron became one of the most important people in Axl's life, being the inspiration for the song Sweet Child of Mine. Despite being a good looking match on the outside, they had a tumultuous relationship, but that didn't stop them from getting married at a Las Vegas ceremony in 1990. Axel allegedly forced Aaron into the marriage after he threatened to harm himself if she didn't marry him, so things were already off to a pretty toxic start. The marriage was later annulled in 1991, just nine months after getting married, and in 94, Aaron filed a civil lawsuit against Axel, where she alleged that she was mistreated by her then husband. Since the split, Aaron has auctioned off memorabilia that she had kept from her days with Axel in the band, looking to rid herself of any trace of her old ties with them, as she's carried a lot of that pain with her for so long. From what she said about her marriage, to Axel, things were certainly bad, and he wasn't the best person to be married to by a long shot. Before we carry on talking about some of these horrible celebrity marriages, why not subscribe to see more videos like this one and leave a like on this video if you're enjoying it so far. At number 8, Prince Charles and Princess Diana. Prince Charles and Princess Diana were one of the most beloved celebrity couples. The whole world loved them. Well, they loved Diana more than anything. She was considered to be the people's princess, but behind closed doors, she was living a hard life neglected by her husband. She was always second best in Charles' eyes, having never gotten over his infatuation for Camilla Parker Bowles. Charles and Diana got married in 1981 and had two kids together, but because of Charles' extramarital affairs and Diana's unhappiness in the relationship, they got divorced in 1996. Diana regretted marrying Charles because she always knew that there would always be three people in the marriage, her, Charles, and Camilla. She deserved so much better, but she got Charles' cold shoulder instead. She was loved by the world, and eventually, after she was freed from the royal family, that became enough. Now, I'm not saying that Charles is an awful person himself, but their whole marriage just wasn't very positive, and Diana got into a pretty unfortunate situation when she married the prince. 
At number 7, Audrina Patridge and Corey Bowen. The Hill star Audrina Patridge and BMX athlete Corey Bowen had a toxic and tumultuous relationship that was really just negative in every sense of the word. After about 7 years of dating, the couple got engaged in November of 2015 and were soon married by the following year after welcoming their daughter Kira into the world. By 2018, they were done and the legal battle began. Audrina alleged that Corey was violent towards her. Leading up to their official divorce, Audrina had been granted a restraining order preventing Corey from being within 100 feet of his wife and daughter. Audrina claimed that Corey had been very aggressive towards her on multiple occasions and that she just couldn't take it anymore. Luckily, she was able to get out of that horrible relationship and probably regrets getting into it in the first place. Needless to say, this was an awful marriage through and through. At number 6, Marilyn Monroe and Joe DiMaggio When Marilyn Monroe and Joe DiMaggio got married, it was a pretty big deal. The actress and the athlete looked like a beautiful match who were deeply in love, having met and married within a relatively short amount of time. They looked to be head over heels for each other, but some believe that their marriage was rushed because it all took place within the time that they had between work engagements. They got married in a quiet city hall ceremony in January 1954 and turned a work trip to Japan into their honeymoon. But just nine Nine months later, that spark had faded and their relationship crumbled apart. Jill allegedly wanted a stay at home wife, but because Marilyn was at the height of her career, she wouldn't agree to that and wanted to keep working. Jill also apparently had a hard time coming to terms with his wife's image, and apparently her famous Subway Great scene was the last straw. Their marriage ended with Marilyn citing mental cruelty as one of the reasons behind their divorce. She didn't like how her husband didn't want to support her, and that's just not what she needed in her life then. In a relationship, you need to be able to support your partner no matter what, so clearly this wasn't a very good match. At number 5, Eddie Murphy and Tracy Edmonds Comedian Eddie Murphy has had his quarrels with love. After a number of failed relationships, he thought he found the one when he met producer Tracy Edmonds. They dated for a few months before getting engaged, eventually leading to a lavish $500,000 wedding in Bora Bora. You know, things are getting serious when you take it all the way to a tiny island in the middle of the ocean. Their wedding, which was attended by 25 people, wasn't technically legally binding, but they had planned to go through with the whole process upon getting back to the United States after their ceremony, but unfortunately, that never ended up happening. It said that things started to go downhill quite quickly after the ceremony, as people reported Eddie being standoffish and not wanting to spend time with his new bride. Other guests who stayed on the island after the ceremony reported that they could hear Eddie and Tracy yelling at each other, fighting, which ended with Tracy in tears. Just two weeks after the wedding, they decided that marriage just wasn't for them, and they called it quits. Even though they weren't technically legally married, their marriage was still awful, and they were equally as bad for each other. Maybe it's for the best that things didn't work out. At number 4, Lena Waithe and Alana Mayo Screenwriter Lena Waithe and her ex-wife Alana Mayo surprised fans when they announced that they had gotten married in a private and secret ceremony that was a spur of the moment decision, but just two months later they announced their separation. In a joint statement to their supporters, the couple announced that they were splitting up, and so as fans do, they speculated as to why they ended their relationship so quickly. Rumors that Lena had been unfaithful started swirling and some sources even said that their relationship had been rocky even before the couple got married. According to some, Melina and Alana's wedding came after multiple cases of cheating, and that even after their wedding, Lena was still buying expensive gifts for other women. Allegedly, this was all too much for Alana to handle, and so they called it quits. Cheating in a relationship is always a recipe for disaster, and marrying a cheater is just so unfortunate, but at least you get to move on to bigger and better things. At number 3, Cardi B and Offset Cardi and Offset have had a rocky relationship, and many people say that they're both just awful for each other. Because of all the drama that these two have had in the past during their marriage, and the fact that they almost got divorced, I think it's safe to say that things have been bad before, and it's honestly kind of debatable whether things are actually okay now or not. Though they have been married for over three years and have kids together, apparently that hasn't stopped Offset from seeking comfort elsewhere. As I mentioned, Cardi even filed for divorce from Offset in 2020 because of his infidelity, though they later got back together after he spoiled her for her birthday, buying her a $300,000 car and dedicating a billboard to her. Offset has had a number of cheating scandals over the course of his relationship with Cardi. In 2018, about a year after the couple got married in secret, Offset faced rumors that he had cheated on Cardi and even made an adult film with another woman. Back in 2020, he faced more cheating allegations when it was rumored that he even fathered a child during this affair. A lot of people say that this is a toxic relationship, but they just keep coming back to each other, so I guess we'll just have to wait and see how things play out, I guess. 
At number two, JLo and Alex Rodriguez. Now, even though they weren't technically married, Alex Rodriguez and Jennifer Lopez still had the intention of doing so. That is, until things got messy and Alex was caught in a cheating scandal. Cheating scandals aren't anything new for the baseball player, having been accused of infidelity in the past, but this new scandal might have been the one where JLo said enough is enough and called off the wedding. In January of this year, Alex was accused of cheating on JLo with reality TV star Madison LaCroix. This rumor started circulating after LaCroix was accused of having an alleged affair with a former MLB player. And this was brought up during a taping of a reality reunion show. Shortly after the taping aired, these allegations escalated with Madison admitting to having been in contact with A-Rod. She insisted that their communications were innocent, saying that they never met up and never had any physical contact, saying quote, he's never physically cheated with his fiance with me. The only solid proof that we have of A-Rod being in contact with Madison comes from a source close to Alex who told sources that Alex had slid into Madison's DMs and that they had exchanged some quote, thirsty photos. Not too long after this all went down, A-Rod and J-Lo announced that they were breaking up and called off their engagement. Cheaters are awful, period. And finally, at number one, Jaina Kramer and Mike Cawson. I stand by the saying, once a cheater, always a cheater, and so do a lot of people who've been in failed relationships. Once your partner does you wrong ones, it takes a lot to regain that trust, and sometimes, after a bond is broken, this seems to have been the case with football player Mike Cawson and his wife, singer and actress Jaina Kramer. The couple faced a cheating scandal in 2016, and after that, they spent the next few years trying to work on their marriage, trying to reconcile after this drama affected them so greatly, but the the couple recently called it quits on their marriage when Jana took to social media in late April to announce their divorce. Her message to the public read, quote, It's time. I try and make sense of a reality I never wanted to believe could be possible again. Those words have now become reality. I've fought, y'all. I've loved hard. I've forgiven. I've put the work in. I've given everything I have, and now I have nothing else to give. The couple briefly split following the cheating scandal I mentioned before, where Mike's secrets were exposed, and though they were able to make amends and try to work on regaining their bond, things just weren't meant to work out in the long term, it seems. In her filings, Janet also cited causes and reasons for their divorce saying that quote, inappropriate marital conduct, irreconcilable differences, and adultery were the reasons behind their failed marriage. In the end, people came to see that Jana married a pretty awful person, but the fact that they're free from each other is for the best, so now they can move on and grow from this. At number 10, Kenya Duke and Gary Owen. Imagine being betrayed by your partner after 20 years of marriage. Well, that's essentially what Kenya Duke went through after she found out that her husband Gary Owen had been cheating. Kenya Duke filed for divorce in March of this year, making allegations that her husband had been unfaithful in their marriage. After news broke of their divorce filing, Kenya took to her Instagram to imply that her husband had an affair with a woman from Dallas, someone who was mutual friends with Gary and reality TV star Claudia Jordan. In a now deleted Instagram post, Kenya sent a message to the other woman whom she calls Dallas, Texas saying quote, Dallas, Texas, I have your info. I'm going to deal with you in a minute. I'm a little busy now. You can have him, but you can't disrespect me and my kids in the process. At Gary Owen Comedy, let her know a storm is coming. You should know about Better. Married, not separated. Married. End quote. But Kenya wasn't done clapping back though, because she also followed this message up with one that was meant for her husband, where she said, quote, All the energy you spent lying, acting, and creating a fake narrative for these women that you want to be me, you could have done it with a veggie burger and a glass of fake filtered water. End quote. I've said it in every single one of these videos, but being with a cheater just means you married an awful person. At number nine, Tiger Woods and Ellen Norgren. One of the most famous cheating scandals from pro golfer Tiger Woods in 2009 shattered his golden boy image and made him look like an awful person. It all started with a car crash. Tiger had crashed his Cadillac into a fire hydrant and this incident made headlines, but it also drew attention to another headline that he had made days earlier after tabloids published a story alleging that Tiger was having an affair with a nightclub manager. Soon one alleged affair turned into many more as six women ended up coming forward, saying that they had also had intimate relationships with the golfer. His wife was understandably furious to find out about all of her husband's affairs and their marriage was ruined after that. I'm sure she no doubt regretted ever marrying such an awful person in the first place. Before we continue talking about celebrities who made horrible marriage decisions, why not take a moment to leave a like on this video to help support the channel and maybe even consider subscribing to the channel to see more videos like this one. At number 8, Arnold Schwarzenegger and Maria Shriver. Actor and former governor of California, Arnold Schwarzenegger, was caught in a very messy and high profile cheating scandal that not only brought life into the world but ruined relationships and turned him into an awful person. In 1997, Arnold had an affair with the family's former house 
housekeeper Patty, and she soon became pregnant with his son. At the very same time, Arnold's wife was also expecting their fourth kid. As if the universe wanted to make things extra chaotic for Arnold, both his wife and mistress ended up giving birth within five days of each other, though they wouldn't know about one another until about a decade later. But much like all secrets, they come out eventually, and Arnold ended up coming clean to his wife about his affair in 2007. This information wasn't immediately shared with the public until 2011, where things blew up. Arnold revealed his infidelity to the public after announcing that he and his wife Maria were separating, while also revealing the truth about his kid with his mistress. This wasn't fair to Arnold's wife nor his mistress because this secret really blew up their lives and it affected their kids too, so Maria certainly married someone awful. At number 7, Woody Allen and Mia Farrow. Now even though they weren't actually married, I felt like I had to include Woody Allen and Mia Farrow's relationship on here because of just how messed up it was because Woody had an affair with Mia's adopted daughter and that is seriously messed up. Mia's daughter Soon Yi was adopted when she was about 7 years old and because Mia and Woody were together, Woody became a father figure to her. In 1992, when Soon Yi was 21, Mia discovered that her daughter and her partner Woody were in a secret relationship when she found intimate photos of Soon Yi. When Mia confronted Woody, he revealed that he and Soon Yi had been together for a short time and that he was in love with her. This subsequently ended their relationship and Alan moved on with Soon Yi, later getting married in 1997. When reports came out about their marriage, this took a lot of people by surprise and made a lot of people angry. Woody was deemed a pretty horrible person for getting with Mia's daughter and people haven't been able to stop thinking about how creepy and wrong that is. Woody and Soon Yi seem fine with it all, but that doesn't take away from the fact that Woody is an awful person for that. At number 6, David Letterman and Regina Lasko. When people are having an affair, they become very secretive as to not get caught, but in most cases, cheaters are almost always exposed, so people can see what a horrible person this cheater is. This is what happened with David Letterman as someone caught wind of his scandalous extramarital entanglements. In October 2009, on his late night talk show, David Letterman got serious with his audience and he exposed his affair and revealed to the public that he had been intimately involved with someone from the studio. He also revealed that this revelation he is sharing was because someone was threatening to blackmail him for $2 million. He said that one day he found a mysterious package sitting in his car and it included proof of his affair and a demand to be paid in order to keep things quiet. He said that if he didn't pay up, his blackmailer would reveal his secrets to the public. But rather than get swallowed up in the scandal, he faced it head on. Soon details of his affair started to come to light, detailing how he had slept with women who worked for him at the studio. He was married at the time of the scandal and remains so to this day. The couple were able to work through things, but David is still an awful person for cheating on his spouse. At number 5, Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt. Brangelina used to be one of the hottest celebrity matches in Hollywood, but ever since their split, it's been dark times for them, especially Brad. Once upon a time, they were seen as the industry's it couple, having spanned over 10 years and raising many kids together, but their divorce is where things get toxic and messy. When the couple announced that they were calling it quits in 2016, a lot of people wondered why, and one of the answers given was because of a dispute that Brad had allegedly had with Angelina about his substance abuse that resulted in Brad getting into an altercation with their oldest son Maddox. It was alleged that Brad was hurting others, and though an investigation cleared him of said allegations, Angie is now saying that she's prepared to share proof that Brad was in fact hurting his family. Recently, Angelina came forward saying that she is willing to offer her children's testimony against Brad as proof, and this could blow the doors off their relationship, giving us more information as to how toxic things really were. The fact that Angie claimed to have proof of how bad things were shows how serious the situation was, and the fact that there's been so much drama and allegations against Brad, he might be considered to be an awful person. At number 4, Eminem and Kim Mathers. When asked about some toxic relationships they know of, a surprising amount of people reference Eminem and his ex-wife Kim Mathers because of their rocky past and marriage. Eminem met Kim in a youth home in 1988 when they were teenagers. From that point on, they stayed by each other's side even when living together at Eminem's mother's house. From that point until 1999, the two had a rocky and sort of toxic relationship, being an on and off again couple. In 1995, they had a daughter, and in 99, the two ended up getting married. Their wedding took place on June 14, 1999, just before Marshall's first major tour as his career was taking off. Kim said later on that this tour took the greatest toll on their marriage, saying, quote, When Marshall's first tour started is when his ego just went poof, like he was God, that's what he thought. I was told that I should be grateful that he still talks to me. You know how many women throw themselves at him? And I just pretty much felt like a piece of crap. 
end quote. From then, their marriage went downhill as they were met with cheating scandals and mental health struggles. Eventually, they got a divorce in 2000, remarried in 2006, then divorced again, this time ending things for good. Because of how toxic things were between them, I guess it could be argued that Eminem was an awful partner. At number 3, Amber Heard and Johnny Depp. Now having a list of celebrities who married awful people, you already know we're going to include Johnny Depp and Amber Heard's tumultuous relationship. A lot was uncovered during their massive court case last year that basically exposed Amber for having hurt Johnny while they were together and having been a horrible partner. We heard stories about Amber severing Johnny's finger with a glass bottle, many of the fights that they had, and even recordings of Amber antagonizing and hurting Johnny. There were instances of physical mistreatment as well as verbal and emotional as well, showing the world how toxic things really were behind closed doors. We found out about how Amber had been cheating on Johnny and how she allegedly went out of her way to outshine him in their industry, always being ready to make big headlines to overshadow him. Amber was no doubt one of the most awful people a celebrity could have married. At number 2, Kim Kardashian and Damon Thomas Before Kim Kardashian was ever with Kanye West or Chris Humphreys, she was married to a man named Damon Thomas. Kim and Damon eloped in 2000 when Kim was 19, but their marriage only lasted until 2004. Damon was 10 years older than her and Kim accused him of quote, poisoning her against her friends and family, and that he urged her to drop out of college. Kim also said that he would be violent towards her. On top of that, she's also said that Damon encouraged her to get plastic surgery so that she would look perfect. On the flip side of this, Damon alleged that Kim was only accusing him of all that in an attempt to get more money out of him in the divorce settlement. Either way, it sounds like Kim went through a lot of negativity with him and she certainly married an awful person. And finally at number 1, Kathy Griffin and Matthew Moline. In a relationship, when trust is broken, it's very hard to rebuild it. That's why a lot of relationships and marriages crumble and this is part of the reason why Kathy Griffin divorced her husband Matthew Moline in 2005. Kathy opened up about what broke their marriage when talking to Larry King when she said quote, My ex-husband, without my knowledge, was sneaking into my wallet when I was asleep in the mornings and taking my ATM cards of my own private accounts and withdrawing money. He admitted it and apologized, and we went to couples therapy. I really wanted to make it work. Unfortunately, we were not able to get beyond the trust issue. To steal from your partner is super sketchy and makes you a pretty awful person because not only are you breaking trust and being dishonest, but you're taking something away from this person who worked really hard to acquire it. At number 10, Melinda Gates and Bill Gates. Earlier this year, Bill and Melinda Gates had been in and out of the news regarding their divorce, ending their marriage of nearly 30 years. After they announced that they were separating, more and more news started to come out about Bill, which shows that Melinda wasn't always happy and probably regretted her marriage to him at times. The moment where she really wanted to leave, though, was when her husband began a friendship and close bond with Jeffrey Epstein, turning him into a pretty horrible person. Information has come out suggesting that Melinda had made the decision to begin the divorcing process in 2019 after a report by the New York Times had linked Bill and Jeffrey, showing that she just didn't want to be with such a horrible person anymore. Melinda had previously warned Bill about the billionaire when they first met back in 2013. However, despite her forewarnings, Bill allegedly continued to meet with Epstein, later leading him to getting exposed for their relationship when Epstein was arrested in 2019. Melinda seemingly wanted out of her marriage as soon as she realized that Bill was in too deep with Epstein. After all this came out, you can really start to see what Melinda was dealing with for all of those years and that she had been dealing with an unhappy marriage for quite a while. At number 9, Jude Law and Sienna Miller. Cheaters are awful people, so I guess this next actor falls under that category. After Jude Law was involved in a cheating scandal in the early 2000s that destroyed his potential marriage to Sienna Miller and left a lot of people so surprised. After getting engaged in 2004, Jude Law was exposed for cheating on his fiance with a woman named Daisy Wright. In 2006, Daisy, the nanny for Jude's children, came forward about how she and Jude were allegedly having an affair. She ended up spilling the beans on their whole relationship in an interview she did with the Sunday Mirror and went in depth about her affair with the actor, sharing every scandalous detail. A lot of people were shocked to hear about this whole affair, but eventually Jude came clean to the public about everything and issued an apology to Sienna. Now even though they weren't married yet, it was a plan to do so, so it counts, right? Jude ruined his potential future marriage because he decided to cheat, so that's pretty unfortunate that their marriage ended before it even began. Before we carry on talking about some of the horrible people that some celebrities have married, why not take a brief moment to leave a like on this video if you're enjoying it so far, and maybe even consider subscribing to the channel to see more videos like this one. At number 8, Beyonce and Jay-Z. 
Even the biggest celebrity couples have their problems and sometimes they can be fixed. Take Beyonce and Jay-Z for example. A lot of people think that Beyonce married an awful person for what Jay-Z has put her through, especially with their troubles with infidelity. It all started when Solange and Jay-Z got into that big elevator fight at the Met. There was a lot of drama surrounding that fight, but no one really knew what provoked it until word came out saying that it was because Jay-Z had cheated. Though no one really acknowledged or spoke out about this apparent infidelity, things got worse when Beyonce low-key exposed her husband's infidelity on her album Lemonade, where she made several subtle and not so subtle comments about her husband's alleged affair. Jay-Z had to respond with his music, where he apologized to his wife for his infidelity and addressed some of their relationship issues. After all of this drama both in and out of the music world, they were able to seek out couples therapy to rebuild their relationship, but for a while there, things looked pretty bad and it looked like Beyonce may have made a mistake by marrying Jay-Z. At number seven, Kim K and Kanye West. Kanye has been through a lot over the last year or so. He lost the presidential race and now he's lost his marriage and Kim's moved on with Pete Davidson of all people. Kim and Kanye's relationship looked like it had been on its last leg for a while, especially after all the drama between Kanye and the Kardashians following his presidential campaign rant and his Twitter meltdowns. Kanye has even said that he knows he didn't do enough to make their relationship survive. There was, however, a lot more going on behind the scenes that we didn't quite know about. Apparently, there came a point where things got too complicated and too toxic to handle. Kim talked about some of the rocky things that happened with her and Kanye towards the end, like how he spent much of his time away from his family in Wyoming, and how their communication was at an all-time low. There were also reports that Kim and Kanye were fighting a lot, and there was also a rumor that Kanye had tried to sleep with another woman while still married to Kim. Things were clearly just very toxic and weren't meant to work out in the long run, so it could be argued that maybe Kim shouldn't have married Kanye. At number six, Catherine Pais and Austin McBroom. Basketball player turned YouTube family vlogger Austin McBroom has been in countless scandals over the years, and the amount of times he's been accused of cheating on his wife Catherine is just too much to count. He's no doubt an awful person for being unfaithful to his partner, and though he continues to deny each accusation, they still keep coming. One of the latest scandals he faced alleged that not only did he have a secret relationship with another woman, but that he has a secret daughter too. A TikTok user took to the platform to make the allegation that Austin was the secret father of her child and that Austin's wife paid the other woman to terminate her pregnancy. This was mostly just speculation, but after someone else came forward claiming to work at the daycare for Austin's secret daughter attends, saying that Austin is listed in the child's paperwork as the legitimate father, people were starting to wonder if this is actually true. Like I said before, these cheating allegations really aren't anything new for Austin, so no one knows what to think anymore. But one thing is for certain, and that is Catherine married a pretty awful guy. At number five, Latoya Luckett and Tomicus Walker. Former Destiny's Child member Latoya Luckett and ex-husband Tomicus Walker had a really rocky falling out, and it could be said that she married an awful person. The R&B singer announced earlier this year that she and her husband were getting a divorce following a cheating scandal that started up last year. In the fall of 2020, footage was leaked which allegedly showed Tommy in a hotel room with another woman. The video showed a man who looked like Tommy asleep in the room, and another video alleged that some some kind of indiscretion had taken place that night. The evidence to support the allegations saying that this is in fact Tomicus in the video is that the man in the footage has a very similar tattoo of the name Ruby on his leg. It seems as though this was all the evidence that was needed for Latoya to want to call it quits and leave her husband. Tomicus denies all cheating allegations blaming quote, outside forces on the downfall of his marriage, but judging by what happened, I think it's a case of cheaters being horrible people. At number four was Khalifa and Amber Rose. Wiz Khalifa and Amber Rose were married for some time after tying the knot in 2013, but after 14 months of marriage and a lot of toxicity, they divorced and it was a pretty nasty breakup. There were allegations of cheating and the custody of their son was also up for debate. Years later, Amber Rose opened up about her brief marriage to Wiz Khalifa and the toxicity around it and spoke out about her regrets concerning their marriage. She once said how she regretted getting married when she did because they didn't give themselves enough time to grow in their relationship and that this was one of the things that contributed 
contributed to the hostility. Amber also expressed that she felt as though they would have had a more successful marriage if they got married later in life, calling their wedding at the time a mistake. Now I'm going to argue that maybe they were just awful people for each other because their whole situation was just one big mess, but what do you guys think? At number three, Jennifer Aniston and Brad Pitt. Before Brangelina took over Hollywood, Brad Pitt and Jennifer Aniston were a thing. Jennifer and Brad's romance story began in the 90s, meeting for the first time in 1994, but going on their first date in 98. After two years of dating, the wedding of the year took place in 2000 on a bluff in Malibu. Things were okay until Angelina came into the picture after she and Brad met while working on Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Fast forward a little bit to 2005 and Benifer was over. They filed for divorce, making room for Brangelina. It was a whirlwind breakup because of the cheating scandals and rumors, as it was said that Brad cheated on Jen with Angie and she became the other woman of sorts. Even as things died down over the years, tabloids would still bring up this drama from time to time, almost making it seem as though things weren't exactly over for this unfortunate love triangle. I guess you could say that Jen married an awful person for what Brad put her through. At number two, Chrissy Teigen and John Legend. Hurting others is always negative, and going out of your way to put someone down can make you an awful person. No one deserves to be treated poorly, and no one should support that kind of behavior. This is what makes Chrissy Teigen such an awful person, and since John Legend married her, this couple fits this list. This year, Chrissy was exposed for her dark side. She faced backlash for resurfaced tweets and DMs directed at Courtney Stodden from back in the day. These messages were really hurtful and mean, and they really hurt Courtney as they've come out saying that these messages affected them greatly when they were younger. When Chrissy got cancelled, she didn't handle it well and didn't really take accountability for her actions and made the backlash towards her an even bigger deal, playing the victim in this whole situation. This behavior isn't something positive and I couldn't imagine being married to someone so negative. And finally, at number one, Marilyn Manson and Lindsay Usage. A huge scandal that happened this year came from singer Marilyn Manson and it shocked a lot of people as it exposed all the terrible things that he's done to past partner. It all started when his ex-partner actress Evan Rachel Wood came forward in an Instagram post to name Manson as someone who had harmed her for a long time. In her statement, Evan cited how manipulative Marilyn was, accusing him of brainwashing her, and told her fans about how Manson caused her so much mental, physical, and emotional pain. This caused more people to come forward later on, including Game of Thrones actress Esme Bianco, who came forward with some of the horrible encounters she had with Manson. Knowing all of this, Marilyn could certainly be called an awful person, and once again, I couldn't imagine being married to this person after knowing all of this. At number 10, Iggy Azalea and Nick Young. When you've been unfaithful to your partner, it pretty much makes you an awful person, and you're bound to get exposed for it, especially if you're a celebrity. No one really gets away with cheating, especially these days because of our presence on social media, making things difficult to hide. Back in 2016, basketball player Nick Young was exposed by one of his teammates for having cheated on his then fiance Iggy Azalea. D'Angelo Russell, Nick's teammate, had recorded Nick talking about how he had cheated on Iggy and the footage was leaked to the internet. This caused Iggy to postpone their wedding, but things ultimately ended a few months later after Iggy caught Nick on her security cameras bringing in other women into their house when she wasn't there. This was the last straw for Iggy, but it also didn't help Nick's case after it was alleged that he had gotten his ex pregnant again while still in a relationship with Iggy. It certainly is a good thing that they didn't end up getting married. At number 9, Khloe Kardashian and Tristan Thompson. At this point, knowing that Tristan Thompson is a pretty awful partner really isn't anything new. Now, I know that Khloe and Tristan aren't actually married, but they're pretty close, and I mean, we can't talk about awful partners without discussing their toxic relationship. All of their relationship drama started back in 2018, and we're still seeing the two of them making headlines together in 2021, so I mean, they're kind of perfect for this list. In April 2018, just shortly before their daughter True was born, photos of Tristan appearing to cheat were leaked, and obviously this wasn't good, but things got even worse when TMZ leaked footage from 2017, which showed Tristan allegedly kissing women at a club. Things mostly died down after their daughter was born, but later in 2019, more cheating allegations came out detailing how he had been cheating on Chloe again, this time with their longtime family friend, Jordan Woods. This ended them for good, or so he thought. Now in 2021, people are still talking about them, but honestly, I don't know what's going on with them anymore. Before we carry on talking about some of the worst celebrity couples and what went wrong, why not leave a like on this video if you're enjoying it so far, and while you're at it, consider subscribing 
subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this one. At number eight, Mariah Carey and Tommy Modella. In September 2020, singer Mariah Carey revealed in her memoir, The Meaning of Mariah Carey, that she had once been unfaithful to her first husband. In her book, Mariah wrote about how during her first marriage to music executive Tommy Modella, she cheated on him with baseball star Derek Jeter. Mariah talked about how she felt trapped in her marriage because of the age difference and because her husband was controlling. Now, cheating isn't necessarily excusable, but after opening up about how Tommy treated her, you can kind of see why she wanted to escape and find someone new. Tommy's treatment of Mariah prompted her to seek out a temporary escape, and after meeting Derek at a dinner party in 1997, she bonded with him. Mariah also revealed that soon she and Derek started talking, leading to them to having a quote, warm, slow, intoxicating kiss on Derek's roof. End quote. The singer said that after that kiss, they never went any further because she was still married, saying, quote, neither of us wanted to cheapen our romance by cheating on my marriage, end quote. Both Mariah and Tommy were awful partners to each other. At number seven, Dominic West and Katherine Fitzgerald. In the fall of 2020, actor Dominic West shocked a lot of people, including his wife, when photos surfaced online of him looking to be getting pretty close with actress Lily James. The leaked images showed the actor ringless on an outing, getting cozy with his co star in Rome. He was spotted kissing and caressing the actress, and there were sources claiming that he and Lily had shared a hotel room as well. When reports of this alleged affair came out, a source close to Dominic's wife, Catherine, said that she was, quote, devastated and heartbroken, going on to say that she believed that she and her husband had a good marriage. Clearly, there was something wrong there. This scandal, however, took an interesting turn just days after the story first broke, as Dominic and his wife were spotted together, kissing in front of paparazzi, and the couple even released a handwritten note to news outlets saying, quote, our marriage is strong and we're very much still together, end quote. Now, not only did Dominic cheat, but Catherine still took him back after all that. You cannot catch me forgiving someone like that, especially after it became public. Dominic was certainly an awful person for putting his wife through all of that. At number six, Jesse Metcalf and Cara Santana. In 2020, Desperate Housewives actor Jesse Metcalf and actress Cara Santana called it quits after a 10 year long relationship, and things were pretty messy. After announcing their breakup publicly in the days following, they were hit with a cheating scandal as cheating allegations came out after Jesse was seen with another woman just days before news broke of the couple's separation. On top of that, paparazzi images showed Jesse with a blonde woman who he appeared to have his arm around and kissing her cheek. Basically, he was caught red-handed. To make matters worse, the actor was allegedly seen with another woman whom he was getting close to. Everything happened so fast that Cara told sources that she felt totally blindsided by the whole affair and that she thought everything was fine between them. To make matters worse for Cara, she apparently didn't know that they were broken up until she saw it in the news. It's alleged that there was no face-to-face -face breakup and that she found out when the rest of the public did too. They were set to get married in the near future, so you know, technically she didn't marry this awful partner, but she almost did, and it would have been even worse to find out about all this infidelity after tying the knot. At number five, Kevin Hart and Aniko Hart. Kevin Hart had a lot of making up to do after his explosive cheating scandal made him look like an awful person. Kevin was caught cheating on his wife, Aniko, Nico Parrish after someone came forward trying to extort the comedian for $10 million in exchange for not releasing footage which showed him being unfaithful to his wife. Since he had essentially been caught, he owned up to his actions and issued a public apology to Aniko on his Instagram where he said, quote, I made a bad error in judgment and put myself in an environment where only bad things can happen, and they did. At the end of the day, I gotta do better, but I'm also not going to allow a person to have financial gain off my mistakes, and in this particular situation, that that's what was attempted." End quote. Some people pointed out that his apology didn't really include much accountability for his actions, but it was enough to keep Kevin and Aniko together, even though the trust in their relationship was seriously broken. They welcomed their first child together shortly after the scandal happened, and they continued to support one another, but that doesn't take away from the fact that Aniko is with a pretty awful partner. At number four, Jada Pickett Smith and Will Smith. After finding herself in a bit of a summer scandal, Jada Pickett Smith was the center of attention for a little while last year after her entanglement with singer August Alsina went public. Jada faced some backlash for her relationship with the singer for a few reasons, one of which obviously being her relationship with Will Smith. When news broke of Jada's relationship with August, people immediately thought that she had been cheating on Will.
Will and that this news was going to blow up in his face. Many fans sent their support to Will because it looked like he had been facing a huge cheating scandal, but after discussing it on their Facebook watch show, Red Table Talk, they revealed that the two of them had separated a few years ago and that they were more so in an open relationship. Regardless, people still believed that Jada was pretty awful because Will looked to be a little hurt by her entanglement with August. But what do you think? Was it considered cheating? And do you think Jada is an awful person for doing this? At number 3, Clark Gable Old Hollywood has a whole lot of mystery and scandal hidden behind a bright shiny Hollywood sign. There was some dark stuff that went down back then and it's only now that people are actually talking about it. One scandal that people were fascinated with was about actor Clark Gable and his secret daughter. While starring in the 1935 film The Call of the Wind alongside actress Loretta Young, Clark was involved in an extramarital affair with his co-star and their affair ended with them producing a daughter. Not only did he become an awful person for having an affair and bringing another life into the world through it, but they also set that kid up for a life full of drama because they tried to cover it all up. Because a scandal like this would have meant the end of their careers, they tried to cover it up, but obviously, we still found out. Loretta tried to conceal her pregnancy as best she could, even coming up with an elaborate plan to go on holiday as soon as her bump became too difficult to hide. She ended up having the baby and gave her up for adoption. Despite their effort to cover it all up, they were eventually exposed because the baby, whom they named Judith, inherited Clark's signature ears. All of this just made Clark look pretty bad and honestly, I feel bad for his spouse, but then again, Clark had a history of cheating, so this wasn't the first time he was seen in a bad light. At number 2, Anne Hathaway Now even though they didn't end up getting married, they were still pretty close to it and it's probably for the best that things ended when they did, because Anne Hathaway nearly married a pretty horrible person. The actress was once in a 4 year relationship with Italian businessman Raffaello Folori and they were reportedly close to getting married. That is until things came crashing down when it was discovered that Raffaello was involved in money laundering. He was arrested in 2008 and as you can imagine, the relationship stopped right then and there and it's a good thing that she didn't stick around. And finally at number 1, Mario Lopez and Ali Laundry. Turns out that perhaps Mario Lopez isn't as nice as we may have thought because apparently he cheated on his soon to be wife Ali Laundry just days before their wedding. Mario confessed to Howard Stern in 2011 that back in 2004 he had cheated on Ali during his bachelor party. That's a pretty awful thing to do. I mean just days before tying the knot too. Understandably, their marriage didn't last long at all, and they got it annulled just two weeks after getting married. To make matters worse though, Mario wrote about the experience in his memoir where he revealed that he didn't even love Ali, saying quote, Lightning hit me with the truth. I wasn't in love, but I walked down the aisle anyway. A company called People Magazine cites sources who claim that two mega ultra superstars have apparently called it quits, although there is no context, explanation, or situation that really explains it. The two have been photographed together out and about at various nightclubs, restaurants, picnics in the park. Maybe not that last one, it doesn't really seem like Bad Bunny style. Over the past few days, gargoyle, I mean paparazzi, have spotted Kendall out and about all by herself. Now, Many people claim that she looks exceedingly single as there's no sign of Bunny anywhere, which has apparently been the case for over a month now. According to the most reputable news source there is, TMZ, this dude's been MIA in LA for a hot minute. That is a direct quote. Pure genius right there. The last time the two were actually spotted together was at a breakfast place in Beverly Hills. MIA in LA, breakfast in Beverly Hills. Am I crazy or are those good song titles? This was after the big Halloween bash, and before that day, these two were inseparable. They appeared all over LA and sometimes not in LA. Well, there are other places that exist. What's funny about the outings is that they seem to be coordinating their exits so that they're never actually pictured together. How great would it be if these two have not been dating at all? People just saw them together once and were like, you're dating now. Facts are that Kendall and Bunny have never actually come out and said, hey, we're a couple. She's never actually gone Instagram official, which is the big sign that something is not right. What a world we live in. They appeared in some Gucci campaigns together, but that was very corporate and work related. It wasn't really a couple out on a date. There have been some intimate moments between the two, like when they were spotted on horseback riding through the countryside together, Bunny holding tight while Kendall took the reins. There were only six casualties that day, including the horse. They seemed like they were on track to be a happy couple for a long time, but now they have split. A tale as old as time. 
The rumors that they were a couple date back to February, but many speculate that it could have been way before that. Earlier this year, the musician, known as Bad Bunny, was spotted on a night out with his boo boo Kendall, the youngest of the Kardashian clan. Now these two were seen together having a little tiff at a Lakers game, of all places. The two were sitting courtside wearing the skin of their enemies on their boots, aka snakeskin, and while the game was mostly filled with smiles and happiness, there was a moment before the game got too heated where it looks like the couple might not be as close as people thought they were. In a short clip taken from the game, Bad Bunny leans in close to Kendall and he whispers something that makes her face go from, ooh I love basketball, to, hmm this isn't the time or place. Now at first the speculation was that there was an uncomfortable question being asked and then people moved on, but the way that Bunny's mouth is shaped it looks like that he just had bad breath and Kendall was getting a whiff of it. The rest of the game was okay and they had a good time, but their faces were never that close again. Oh right, the whole uh, real reason thing, well <laughs> I don't know, that was just to get you to click the video. I appreciate your interest and I'm sorry to say that that is the extent of my knowledge onto why they've broken up. To be perfectly honest, the only reason I know who Bad Bunny is is because of his performance in Bull Let Train as the wolf. He's in the movie for like 10 minutes, but he seals the show. I also know him from his gig hosting Saturday Night Live a few months back. And if you've made it this far in the video in love Bad Bunny, just <laughs> go watch that episode. I have to say he did a great job. But in total, honestly, I just don't know why Kendall and Bunny broke up or even if they actually did. So instead of droning on for 10 minutes trying to squeeze out every ounce of gossip I can, let's instead just talk about the Kardashian family as a whole. There are many mistakes, their failed business plans, and much more. If that sounds good to you, drop a like down below and please follow our channel if you haven't already. So let's get going. Like, so what are some bad Kardashian moments? Well, let's talk about like the time the family went grave shopping on their show. Now, window shopping isn't weird. We all love to mindlessly walk around a store that we know well and good we will be purchasing nothing from. But the Kardashian family doesn't go to Hot Topic. Or maybe they do. I live in Canada and I haven't seen them yet. Instead, this family likes to window shop for coffins and grave plots. During an episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians, momager Kris Jenner decided that the best gift that she could give her kids was a nice, comfortable place to keep their lifeless husks tucked away when they pass. Kris and the crew spend the day trying to decide what model of coffin they wish to purchase, with Kris going so far as to actually getting in one to see if it's cozy. Hey, if you're trying to get cozy in your coffin, uh, you're still alive! Bang on that lid! On top of shopping for physical coffins, she also took her kids on a tour of a graveyard that seemed to boast some pretty stellar plots. There is such a serious conversation over the choice of in the ground or in a mausoleum made of marble. Which one do you think they went with? Then of course there is the more candid moments on Keeping Up With The Kardashians, like following a brief discussion on the practice of eating the stuff that comes out after we're born. Yeah, that's a thing. Kim and Courtney decided to hatch a plot where they would trick their family into thinking they had just eaten placenta. There, I'm only saying it once. That was the stuff. The sisters go through an elaborate preparation and brag to their family about the mystery meat they have purchased. As the evening goes on, they continue to plant the seeds right up until the forks are plunged into the meat. Following the meal, they decided that it was the perfect time to tell their family they just dined on the stuff. Of course, their immediate reaction is disgust and anger, wouldn't we all be? At the same time, don't eat mystery meat, especially if it's cooked by Kim Kardashian. That is a disaster waiting to happen. That could be an actual person for all we know. Kim's wild. They let the prank play out for some time with Caitlyn Jenner almost blowing her chunks all over the table. But after a few moments of panic, they let it slip that the meat they had just eaten was actually brisket. But needless to say, Kim is no longer in charge of family dinner night. Now, Kendall is not just known for her ability to get in and out of relationships or for being on a reality show, she's actually also known for her acting abilities. Now, sponsored brand deals can mean a lot of money for the people involved. Just look at every cologne on the planet. They hire someone to stand on a beach for 30 seconds and they make a million dollars. Around 2017, Kendall Jenner decided to partner with the soda brand Pepsi to create a commercial that would act as both an ad and a PSA against hate. The commercial consisted of hundreds of people from different parts of the world drinking Pepsi. And eventually everyone comes together on the streets of what looks like New York and Kendall looks to the crowd, wipes off her makeup, and follows suit. Now the cringe comes when the crowd of people appear to be at a standoff with the police. Kendall walks through the crowd and gives an officer a can of Pepsi. He sips it and eh, everybody cheers before they swarm the cops who are suddenly just cool with everything that's happening. The ad was meant to be a political statement following the passing of several African American men and women in the United States, aiming to bring people together, which it did but for the wrong reasons. The world collectively cringed at this absolute mess, forcing Kendall to drop an apology video on that season's premiere of Keeping Up with the Kardashians. She may have apologized, but we're never going to forget that weird brand deal. Now, apart from cringy commercials, 
commercials and television moments, did you know that the Kardashians are kind of terrible people? Who would have guessed? Especially to the people that they employ. Kim Kardashian is arguably the most famous of her Kardashian sisters, and apparently she's also the busiest. For example, she has four kids, a skincare line, Skims brand, she's attending law school, she co-founded an equity team, and she recently hopped on the podcast train in addition to filming that new show on Hulu. Now you may be asking yourself, how does one woman do all of that by herself? Well, she pays people to do it for her. Secret spilled. She has multiple assistants and nannies to help her stay above the overwhelming workload, but has been known to treat them as lesser than herself. For instance, on several occasions, Kim and her daughter North would be out to lunch, accompanied by their nanny. But Kim makes her not only sit at a separate table, just really far away from them at the restaurants, but she's also known to make her nannies walk like 10 feet away from her at all times. Unless she has multiple people with her and then she likes to make them walk in like a flying V formation because I guess she's a fan of Mighty Ducks. If they walk near her or attempt to walk side by side, she blows up on them behind closed doors. Needless to say, she's had many nannies over the years and has probably made them all cry at least once. But while Kim may not be the best boss in the world, it's actually Courtney who is known by far to be the worst Kardashian to work for. Not only is she a neat freak, needing every single thing to be exactly where it should be, but she's also known for being surprisingly cheap. Even once calling a grocery store while she was shopping to compare the prices of a chicken breast. Cause hey, if anyone needs that extra 99 cents, it's Kourtney Kardashian. But this isn't the worst thing that she's done. At one time, Kourtney's daughter had bitten a nanny so hard that she actually had to quit. But instead of letting it go and taking responsibility for, you know, not teaching her daughter how to act properly, she berated the nanny and told her that she should have said something to her daughter. Cause yes, blame the woman who you're paying to raise your kid instead of the kid itself, who probably has abandonment issues. Now, the worst by far though of everyone in the family is Kylie. In 2019, she partnered with a company called Alta that allowed her to sell her line of skincare and beauty products in their stores rather than just in pop-ups or online. Cause, And this is unfortunate considering the true nature of where these products come from. A lot of employees at the factories that mix and package these makeup and beauty products have reported that they were never given proper safety equipment that, you know, you would need to do the job. They were only given hair nets, lab coats, and safety goggles, leaving their hands and faces completely exposed, and workers would regularly report migraines and chemical burns on their hands. If this isn't bad enough, they were also forced to act as human test subjects for Kylie's new products. Now, she has always been very proud of the fact that her company does not test products on animals, but I think we can all agree that doing it on people is like way worse. Not only did they not have proper safety equipment and were basically used as human test subjects, whenever Kylie wished, but the factory itself is a small, cramped one with many employees claiming that there were too many workers and not enough space. This description sounds very similar to, you know, a sweatshop, which is a word describing a workplace in which the employees work ridiculous hours in brutal conditions for nearly nothing for pay, and many employees agree with that statement. One former tester recounts having to constantly go back and forth as her anxiety was just always through the roof, having to be around so many people in such a terrible world work environment. At one point a few years back, Kylie even refused to pay her employees at a garment factory in Bangladesh, leaving thousands of employees with no money and no idea when or if they would return to work. Starting off our list at number 10 is Ashton Kutcher. Don't freak out, the actor didn't cheat on his wife and mother of his children, Mila Kunis. He actually cheated on his wife that came before her, Demi Moore. The actress was 16 years older than Ashton and had three teenage girls when they first got together. When they got married, he was only 25 years old. The age difference had rumors flying that there was trouble in paradise when it came to their marriage. The majority of rumors were that Ashton was cheating on Demi with multiple different women. The rumors may not have stuck, but one alleged hookup sure did when there was proof. Paparazzi capture pictures of Ashton leaving his hotel, the Roosevelt, with Sarah Leal in the car with him. After the picture surfaced, Sarah came forward with the truth saying that they hooked up in a hot tub in September 2011 on his six year anniversary with Moore. During an interview with The Sun, she stated, and I quote, We had sex twice. Everything felt natural. We were having a good time. One thing led to another. He was good. It wasn't weird or perverted or creepy. I was attracted to him and he 
he was attracted to me. She also went on to say that Ashton told her he was separated from Demi at the time when they hooked up. Needless to say, Ashton and Demi officially divorced not long after the truth came out. At number 9 is Leanne Rhyme. She's known for a bit of everything, acting, singing and she's even recognized now as an author. She is a triple threat. However, one thing she isn't very good at is being faithful to her husband. Her cheating scandal caused a lot of controversy when photos of her kissing her co-star Eddie Sobrian at a romantic dinner together. Turns out Eddie was married too. The scandal made headlines back in 2009 when the footage was leaked from a restaurant security camera. The photo snapshots show the two actors holding hands, kissing and cuddling up next to each other. Rhymes was married to Dean Shermit since 2002 and Eddie was married to Brandy Glanville since 2001 and even had two kids with her. Once both of their spouses were made aware of the cheating, they both pulled the plug on their marriage. Leanne and Eddie eventually married each other in 2011. How romantic. Taking over the number 8 spot is Balthazar Getty. Most people remember this scandal because the picture went viral of the famous topless holiday cheating scandal. Back in 2008, the actor's career was in its prime when he starred in Brothers and Sisters. Not only was his career going well, but so was his marriage. He had a long term marriage with his wife Rosetta Getty and the two of them even had four children together. That was quickly ruined when he was caught having an affair with Sienna Miller. They were caught together in Italy on a vacation when topless photos of Sienna made headlines. Getty and his wife separated for two years after the incident but decided to work things out. The actor and his wife opened up during an interview with People magazine and said that it actually made their marriage stronger. As for Sienna, she later dated Jude Law who ended up cheating on her with their nanny. Karma? At number 7 we have Catherine McPhee. Her career first started in the music industry when she came in second place during her season on American Idol. She later transitioned into the acting world when she landed a starring role on the television series Smash in 2012. During her time on the show, paparazzi managed to get some photos of Catherine and the director of the series, Michael Morris, kissing, which definitely wasn't part of her job description. Both of them were guilty because they were both married at the time. Michael was married to the mother of his three children and Catherine had been married to a man named Nick Kokos for five years at that point. Her husband ended up filing for divorce and the paperwork was finalized in 2014. Swiping the number 6 spot is Ryan Phillippe. For a long time, the actor was married to Reese Witherspoon and they were one of Hollywood's most admired couples. They got married in 1999 and were together until 2006 where they had two kids together, a daughter and a son. The couple always came across as having the perfect relationship, which is why people were stunned when Ryan was photographed kissing another woman while he was still married to Reese. Photos made headlines of Ryan and the Australian beauty Abby Cornish having a public makeout session. In 2007, Ryan and Reese divorced as a result of the cheating scandal and eventually Ryan spoke openly on his romance with his mistress. The two of them continued to be in a relationship together until 2010. Halfway through the list at number 5 is Elizabeth Taylor. The actress was part of a huge Hollywood scandal all the way back in 1962. It was one of the most scandalous and iconic headlines made during the time. Paparazzi caught Elizabeth spending some romantic time with Richard Burtman on a private yacht. The first photo appeared in June of 1962 and people were shocked seeing as both of them had been married at the time. Elizabeth was married to her fourth husband at the time, Eddie Fisher, and Richard was married to his first wife, Sibel Williams. Once the pictures were out, the two of them left their marriages to be together. They became an iconic couple in Hollywood and got married only one year after the scandal on March 15, 1964. Their love story was legendary, but for all the wrong reasons. Here we are at number four with Hugh Grant. Even with photographic evidence, some actors are able to weasel their way out of the wrongdoings. But Hugh's photographs are not the typical kissing photo like anyone else on this list. Not only was he publicly outed for cheating on his girlfriend in 1995, he was also arrested because he had solicited an escort. His cheating scandal pictures? his mugshot, and hers. There is no way you're possibly talking yourself out of this one. Back then, Hugh Grant and his girlfriend Elizabeth Hurley were one of Hollywood's power couples, or so everyone thought. During the scandal, fans were shocked that Elizabeth actually stood by her man's side. It didn't last very long though, the damage had already been done and they split not too long after. Taking the number 3 spot is Kristen Stewart. Her scandal broke the hearts of many, many, many Twilight fans. She began dating her co-star and moved 
movie boyfriend Robert Pattinson while filming the Twilight series of movies. Fans were obsessed with their love story since they got to see it in the movies and also in real life. She ruined their love story when she was caught cheating with her Snow White and the Huntsman director Rupert Sanders. The paparazzi leaked the photos in 2012 which showed the two of them making out in a car and snuggling up together on a deserted hike. Not only was Kristen in a relationship, but so was Rupert. He was married to Liberty Ross and also had kids with her. Robert, Liberty and fans were all heartbroken by the shocking scandal. Kristen issued a statement saying, I am deeply sorry for the hurt and embarrassment I've caused to those close to me and everyone this has affected. This momentary indiscretion has jeopardized the most important thing in my life, the person I love and respect the most, Rob. The two of them split not long after and Rupert's wife filed for a divorce the following year. Alright guys, at number 2 we have Marlon Wayans, the actor who made big waves in the acting industry when he starred in White Chicks back in 2004, one of my favorite movies to this day. However, I am not too pleased with the actor after learning about his cheating scandal. The scandal happened in 2012 when he had been dating his girlfriend and mother of his two children, Angelica Zachary, for 12 years. Pictures made headlines that showed Marlon kissing and caressing a mystery brunette on a private yacht in St. Barthes. Some people were shocked while others stated that he's always had some commitment issues. During an interview with Wendy Williams before the scandal took place, he revealed that he and Angelica don't even live together, even though they have kids together. When asked why, he said, I like to keep it fresh. When you live together, that's when the sweatpants and the cream on the face comes out and it kind of says you're not going to get some. How did he possibly explain this to his kids? He later admitted that once his kids found out about the cheating, they physically latched out at him. Angelica decided to stick it out with him, but they ended up getting a divorce in 2013. Taking the number one spot is Kevin Hart. This one cut deep for me because he is one of my favorite comedians, so it's hard not losing any respect for him. Not only was Kevin married at the time of his cheating scandal, but his wife was actually pregnant. He was on a trip in Las Vegas when camera footage broke the internet, showing the actor getting up close and personal with an exotic dancer. The footage was taken from a Vegas nightclub surveillance video. Once the footage was out there, Kevin came forward in a shocking Instagram video where he confessed his affair to his millions of followers to try and stop the mistress from trying to get money from him in exchange for her silence. At the time all of this was going on, his second wife was in her third trimester of pregnancy. Turns out his wife was actually the mistress that broke up Kevin's first marriage, so their story is kind of a mess altogether. Kevin continued to publicly own up to his actions and apologize for his mistakes, which his wife actually forgave him for. In at number 10, Robert Kardashian. While Kris Jenner was married to Rob Kardashian, she was caught having an affair with a friend named Todd Waterman. Robert knew this at the time of their divorce many years ago, but Kris didn't reveal her infidelity to the world until she released her memoir in 2011 called Kris Jenner and All Things Kardashian. In the book, she kept the name of the man private and called him Ryan, but the man was later identified as Waterman. Kris later revealed that the biggest mistake in her life was divorcing Rob. Todd also regrets his part in the affair. Waterman told the Daily Mail in 2012, quote, There's several things I regret and it's definitely the pain that it caused Robert and the children specifically. I think it affected Courtney the most. I know she was definitely affected and I always felt bad about that. And at number 9, Will Smith. Will and Jada Smith are the ultimate Hollywood power couple, but even they have problems. While they were going through a rough patch, Jada started an entanglement with another man. Apparently Will had known about this relationship since it happened, but the world found out when the man that Jada cheated with, named Alcina, revealed it to the world. He said, quote, I totally gave myself to that relationship for years of my life, and I truly and really, really deeply loved and have a ton of love for her. Speaking about Jada, Alcina claimed that Will knew about the relationship and gave them his blessing. At first Jada denied the claims, but later decided to speak about it on the Red Table Talk. On the show, Jada said there was a point in time that her and Will were thinking of separating. At this point she started this relationship, but in the end, Will and Jada ended up back together. In at number 8, Regina Lasko David Letterman admitted to cheating on his wife in front of the entire world. In 2009, Letterman got on television and told his unsuspecting viewers that he was being blackmailed. Apparently this person knew that Letterman was cheating on his wife with his co-workers and wanted $2 million to keep the secret to himself. Instead of giving in, Letterman admitted it to the whole world. At the time of the cheating, Letterman had been married to his wife for 6 months, but they were together for 20 years prior. It was later revealed the blackmailer was a producer on Letterman's show, and the woman Letterman was cheating with was dating this producer. And at number 7, Beyonce. Beyonce and Jay-Z are an incredibly private couple, but their darkest secret was exposed to the world when Beyonce released her album Lemonade, which told the story of her husband cheating. 
One song referenced a woman named Becky with the good hair, which caused tons of speculation about who this person was. A woman who worked with Jay-Z named Rachel Roy was first thought to be the woman, but she denied it. Then in 2017, Jay-Z released his album 444, which confirmed that he cheated. In this album, he apologized to Beyonce and their children for his mistake. He also spoke about the mistake in an interview later. And at number 6, Emma Thompson. Kenneth Branagh and Emma Thompson married in 1989 and worked together on various projects throughout their marriage. At one point, rumors started swirling that Kenneth might be cheating with his Mary Shelley's Frankenstein co-star, Helena Bonham Carter. The details of the affair were not spoken of publicly, but in a 2013 interview, Thompson confirmed there was an affair. She also added she'd made peace with Helena. In 2018, Thompson told The Telegraph that one of the most famous scenes from Love Actually where she found the necklace was based on reality. At that time, she just learned of the affair and used her emotion for that scene. She said, quote, I had my heart very badly broken by Ken, so I knew what it was like to find the necklace that wasn't meant for me. I've had so much bloody practice crying in a bedroom than having to go out and be cheerful, gathering up the pieces of my heart and putting them in a drawer. Halfway number five, Sandra Bullock. The marriage between Jesse James and Sandra Bullock went down in flames due to infidelity, caused by Jesse's insecurity over their relationship. The couple first started dating in 2003 and got married in 2005. But after only five years of marriage, they split in 2010 and it was exposed that Jesse had been cheating with multiple women. After the split, Jesse said the hardest thing was not being able to be with their adopted child, Lewis, who Bullock adopted without James. Following the cheating, Bullock filed for divorce and Jesse James became the most hated man in America. At one point, he even tried to downplay the cheating to the public, which got him even more hate. And at number four, Tori Spelling. The old saying goes, how you get him is how you lose him. And that was proven in this relationship. While Tori Spelling and Dean McDermott were dating other people, they started cheating on their partners with each other. Eventually, Dean and Tori started dating and even got married. But then years later, rumors started to swirl that Dean was cheating on Tori. Dean actually admitted to it and even checked himself into rehab. The whole thing was shared on the couple's TV show, so viewers got to see exactly what was happening. The pair managed to work through it all and are still married today. And at number three, Brandy Glanville. This one's a bit of a mess with a lot of cheating involved. At one point in time, Brandy Glanville and Eddie Sabran were married, and Leanne Rimes was married to Sean Sherman. But then Leanne and Eddie started cheating together and it turned into a huge mess. The affair was a main storyline on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, along with Vanderpump Rules. Vanderpump Rules star Sheena Shea was also involved in this drama because she was also cheating with Eddie while Eddie was with both Leanne Rimes and Brandi Glanville. Eddie must have been very busy during this time. There's somewhat of a happy ending. Leanne Rimes and Eddie Sabran got married and are still together to this day. And at number two, Iggy Azalea. The messy split all started with a prank war, if you can believe it. The Lakers were caught up in a prank war, and in the midst of that war, Nick Young revealed he was cheating on Iggy. The whole thing was even caught on tape. Apparently behind closed doors, Nick Young and Iggy worked it out and he managed to convince her that it was all a lie, which she decided to believe and they kept dating. But then security cameras caught Young in the act and Iggy saw him bringing girls into their home. To add insult to injury, it came out that Young was even expecting a baby with his ex-girlfriend, Kiana Green, which was conceived while he and Iggy were together. Iggy ended up dumping him on Twitter. And finally, number one, Sienna Miller. Jude Law and Sienna Miller were one of Hollywood's hottest couples until they were caught up in a cheating scandal. Even worse, Jude Law cheated with the nanny. The couple was engaged for eight months when the nanny claimed that she and Jude Law were having an affair. Jude Law ended up admitting to the cheating and apologized to Sienna in an open letter. He said in part, quote, there is no defense for my actions, which I sincerely regret. And I ask that you respect our privacy at this very difficult time. The pair stayed together for a few years, but they split for good in 2011. Number 10, Liam Payne. The former One Direction member was engaged to Maya Henry in the summer of 2020. Their romance began in 2019 when the pair was pictured together at a series of public events, and they announced their engagement the following year, and Liam proposed with a $4 million ring. But Maya first indicated there was trouble in their relationship after a fan went on Instagram and posted a slideshow of Liam hugging and kissing a mysterious brunette. The fan tagged Maya in the post, which prompted her to go off in the comments section. She wrote, please stop sending me these pictures of my fiance wrapped around another woman. This is not me and it's hard enough knowing this happened without seeing it. Scandal erupted online as Liam began receiving tons of backlash for his alleged infidelity, which he adamantly denied, insisting that they weren't together at the time. Either way, the young couple eventually broke up for good that same year. If you're loving this video so far, please hit that like button, it would really help us out. Number 9, Adam Levine. The Maroon 5 
Live frontman has been married to his Victoria's Secret supermodel wife, Bahati Prinsloo, for almost a decade. And the couple have two children together and another one on the way. But all that came crashing down when an Instagram model named Summer Stroh went on TikTok and posted a video called Having an Affair with a Man Who's Married to a Victoria's Secret Model, which was basically a whole video confessing that they had been in a relationship with Adam Levine for a whole year. She has also come through with a whopping amount of evidence and posted a series of DMs that Adam sent her on Instagram. To make matters worse, several months after their affair, Adam DM'd Sumner out of the blue asking if she would be okay with him naming his new baby after her. This news was perhaps one of the biggest cheating scandals of the year. And so far, another four women have come out claiming to have been involved with the singer at one point in time. Number 8. Ned Former The internet went crazy when a video started circulating on social media of Ned Former from the Try Guys kissing his employee Alex Herring at a New York City bar. Alex is actually one of the most well-known employees of the company and over the years she's been featured in many videos. But if that wasn't bad enough, she was engaged to her fiance Will Thayer at the time and the couple had been together for 11 years. The scandal was insane. Fans were beyond shocked that certified wife guy Ned was even capable of cheating on his beautiful wife Ariel Fulmer. He was known as a super devoted husband who loved to gush over his wife in almost every video. So he really betrayed the audience as well as his own family. As a result, he was swiftly fired from the Try Guys and he had to put out a statement owning up to the affair, admitting to having a consensual workplace relationship. Number 7. Gerard Piquet In early June, Barcelona and Spain football star Gerard Piquet's high profile marriage to Colombian star Shakira allegedly ended due to his unfaithfulness. A few days later, Shakira and Piquet confirmed that they had in fact called it quits. According to Spanish newspaper Marca, the other woman was 23 year old Clara Chia, who was dating one of his friends at the time. PK was allegedly smitten the first time he saw her and they exchanged phone numbers and started dating in secret. Now new details have emerged that he may have been cheating on Shakira as far back as 2012 with Israeli supermodel Bara Faley, who also happens to be Leonardo DiCaprio's ex-girlfriend. The affair was exposed when Shakira found messages detailing their intimate encounters. When she was asked about PK being linked to another woman, she told Elle magazine, I can only say that I put everything I had into this relationship and my family and pointed out that although she chose her marriage over her career, sadly it still didn't work out. Number 6. Jason Derulo Nearly one year after Jason Derulo and Jenna Frooms broke off their relationship, she exposed him for cheating on her throughout their relationship. When her comment section filled up with people accusing her of sleeping around, Jenna took to Instagram to correct the narrative, saying, It's unfortunate my situation didn't work out because we once did aspire to be married, but maybe it's best to be single than be in a relationship and constantly be disrespected and cheated on and lied to. No one aspires to be a single mom, but if your non-negotiables are being tested, you'll never find peace in that relationship. The 28 year old insinuated that Jason had a whole roster of women during the time they were together. She said, if a man wants a different girl every week over his family, I'll never accept that. We will never be able to make it work happily. I was straight up told that I should turn the other cheek. I'll never be okay with sharing a lover that I love with all my heart. If the streets come first, I can't change that. Number 5. Ime Yudoka Actress Nia Long had been in a relationship with Celtics coach Ime Yudoka for well over a decade and the two share a 10 year old son. Just two weeks before they planned to move their family to Boston, where they were house hunting, Nia learned about his betrayal. It turns out her fiance was having an affair with a married front office staffer. It was Ime who reportedly came clean to the actress about the affair because news of his infidelity was about to be made public. On September the 22nd, the Boston Celtics announced that the coach had been suspended for the 2022 to 2023 season for violating team rules. Nia then released a statement addressing her heartbreak, saying the outpouring of love and support from family, friends, and the community during this difficult time means so much to me. It may also released a statement saying, I want to apologize to our players, fans, the entire Celtics organization, and my family for letting them down. I am so sorry for putting the team in this difficult situation, and I accept the team's decision. Number 4. Sebastian Bear McLeod Early this month, Emily Ratajkowski filed for divorce from film producer husband Sebastian in Manhattan Supreme Court after four years of marriage. Back in July, a source close to the model confirmed that the couple had broken up because of his infidelity. Quote, he cheated. He's a serial cheater. It's gross. He's a dog. Although Emily hasn't spoken out directly about her personal life, she has removed both her engagement ring and wedding band and has been photographed without the jewelry for at least three weeks. She chose not to trash Sebastian publicly, but instead subtly confirmed the rumors by liking several tweets, including one that said, M. Rada, finally free from that man just proves that God is actually very real. And I can't believe that little B 
cheated on Emrata. In truth, everyone was especially surprised that Emily got cheated on, given her insane beauty and supermodel status. Pretty soon, the internet flooded with women in despair, saying things like, well, if Emily Ranikowski got cheated on, then no one is safe. Number three, Neo. In early August, Crystal Renee Smith filed for divorce from Neo after six years of marriage, alleging that he had not only fathered a child with another woman, but had been cheating on her for eight years with multiple women. She exposed him on Instagram, saying, eight years of lies and deception, eight years of unknowingly sharing my life and husband with numerous women who sell their bodies to him unprotected. Every last one of them. To say I'm heartbroken and disgusted is an understatement. To ask me to stay and accept it is absolutely insane. The mentality of a narcissist. Neo responded on Twitter writing, for the sake of our children, my family and I will work through our challenges behind closed doors. But the worst part was that Crystal discovered the truth just three months after she and her husband had renewed their wedding vows. The betrayal that she would have felt is immeasurable, particularly because in her case, the cheating had been going on for such a long period of time before she ever found out. Number two, Matthew Morrison. In late May, it was reported that the Glee star got kicked off season 17 of So You Think You Can Dance because he developed an inappropriate relationship with a female contestant. Matthew has been married to Renee Puente since 2014, but he still decided to pursue a female contestant on the show who has not been named and sent her flirty DMs on Instagram. A US Weekly source claimed that the messages contained sexual innuendos and were flirting to the extent that he was overstepping boundaries. Eventually, the contestant felt so uncomfortable with his line of comments that she went to producers, who then got Fox Studios involved. After they did an internal investigation, Matthew was fired on the spot. The following week, the father of two tried to recover his reputation and took to Instagram, insisting that he only asked the contestant for her phone number to help her get a job as a choreographer on a different show. Yeah, I don't think anyone was buying that. And coming in at number one, Monty Lopez. During an interview with Page Six in early July, influencer Renee Ash claimed that she had a five month affair with Addison Rae's father, Monty Lopez, after he misled and lied to her about the state of his marriage with Sherry Nicole Easterling. She said, he told me that we were gonna be together and have babies together. I thought we had something real. He told me a story of his marriage that convinced me that they were apart and in the process of getting a divorce. The 25 year old said that she dumped Monty in early July after several other women told her that he had hit on them in person and on social media. She said, I loved him and I believed him. When I found out about the other young girls, my heart broke. The creepy part is that Renee is just four years older than Addison and Monty is 46. What's even crazier is that the affair led his wife to hook up with the rapper Young Gravy, much to everyone's surprise. But the only person who must be truly embarrassed about all this is Addison Rae. And at number 10, Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods was on top of the world until a massive cheating scandal derailed his entire career. In 2009, he became a billionaire, but in the same year, everything changed after his wife, Elin Nordegren, learned that Tyler had been cheating on her for years. It started when the tabloids exposed that he was having an affair with a nightclub manager named Rachel Yuchatel. Then a few days after that, he crashed his car in front of his mansion. It was rumored that his wife chased him out of their house. After all this was revealed, countless more women came forward, revealing they had also cheated with Tiger. Tiger addressed everything in a statement saying, quote, I was unfaithful. I had affairs and I cheated. What I did was unacceptable. I hurt my wife, my kids, my mother, my wife's family, my friends, my foundation, and kids around the world who admired me. Then in 2010, the couple got a divorce and Tiger's golf performance tanked for years after. And at number nine, Ashton Kutcher. While Ashton Kutcher was married to Demi Moore, he was caught red-handed cheating on her. This all went down in 2011 when paparazzi photos exposed that Ashton was partying with a 22-year-old blonde girl in his bedroom at the Hard Rock Hotel in San Diego. Things were made even worse by the fact that the photos were leaked right before him and Demi's six-year anniversary together. The craziest part of the story is that Demi actually knew who the other woman was and explained the meeting in a memoir. Apparently, their whole family was at a bowling alley when Ashton went to change his shoes. The girl then gave Ashton her number on a napkin. Apparently, Ashton actually showed her the number that night and they joked about how funny that it was. Ashton made it seem like she had nothing to worry about, but sadly, that was not true and Ashton did get into contact with this girl. They divorced shortly after. And at number eight, Justin Timberlake. I could probably make an entire list on just Justin Timberlake's cheating because he's been caught a number of times doing scandalous things with other women. The most recent incident of Timberlake getting caught red-handed took place in 2019. While married to Jessica Biel, photos were leaked showing him getting handsy with his co-star at the time, Alicia Wainwright. The pictures were taken in New Orleans while they were filming when they all decided to go out on their night off. They went to a local bar and in the pictures you can see him holding her hand, her putting her hand on his leg, and all around just super flirty stuff. Fans also pointed out that Justin also wasn't wearing his wedding ring. For obvious reasons, this started a huge cheating rumor mill, but Justin released a public statement saying that
saying that nothing happened further than what everyone saw in the photos. Yeah, right. Jessica decided to stay with him and work through things. And at number seven, Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart is another Hollywood star that has been labeled a serial cheater because of his infidelity while married to both of his wives. The worst was when he was caught cheating on his pregnant wife, Iniko Parrish, in 2017. This was exposed in a video where you could see Kevin getting in the back of a car with another woman. After the footage went viral, the internet started claiming that he had cheated on his wife who was eight months pregnant. Then some more footage was released that seemed to be a tape showing Kevin cheating on his wife well in the act. Apparently the footage was filmed as an extortion attempt. His wife Aniko later talked about how she found out about it in the first place. She said it was through a DM message on Instagram. Her exact words were quote, I was about seven or eight months pregnant and I was having breakfast and I opened my phone and immediately I just lost it. Kevin finally admitted to it and released a public apology to his wife and family and the two of them worked through it and are still together. And at number six, Khloe Kardashian. These two were not married when Tristan cheated, but they were in a long term relationship with a child on the way. I'm sure we all know by now, but third trimester Tristan earned that name from when he was caught on tape cheating on Chloe days away from her giving birth. Although the cheating was exposed months later, the footage was taken at a hookah lounge in Washington, D.C. in 2017. And the footage is pretty bad. It shows Tristan with two girls, one he is making out with, and the other is grabbing his junk. And just when it couldn't get any worse, more footage came out showing Tristan taking a different girl into his hotel room months later. So clearly, this wasn't the only time that he was cheating, and he wasn't really that discreet about it either. Halfway number five, Ryan Garcia. Ryan was not only caught cheating on his fiance, he was caught on camera. A paparazzi video showed Ryan and Malu Trevejo making out outside of a restaurant. And things got nasty when his pregnant fiance, who we already shared one child with, called out both of them online. His fiance posted on her Instagram that she was away visiting her family and thought Ryan was training. But sadly, he was out cheating. After this, Malu made her own apology video, saying that she knew that he had a kid, but she didn't know that he was engaged or had another baby on the way. And as a last ditch effort to save his reputation, Ryan made his own statement on Instagram, writing that him and his fiance Andrea were not engaged at the time, but they were still together and he was caught up in the moment. And at number four, Kristen Stewart. This cheating scandal not only broke up a relationship, but it destroyed the fantasy that was created over the course of the massive film franchise, Twilight. Back in 2011, Kristen Stewart and Robert Pattinson were dating, and everyone thought they would end up married because of their on-screen love story. But that all changed when a paparazzi video showed Kristen making out with her director from the movie Snow White and the Huntsman, who was married. He was 41 years old at the time, and Kristen was only 22. The Twilight fandom was devastated, even more so when Rob and Kristen split following the cheating. One part of me was devastated back in the day, but Kristen also looked like she was in pain like every time they kissed, so I mean, not so much of a long shot that they would break up. And at number three, Dixie D'Amelio. Griffin and Dixie were the hot new TikTok couple after they started publicly dating, but that changed pretty fast when it was revealed that Griffin was cheating. Dixie did not take it lying down and decided to make a savage TikTok video exposing all the receipts. In the short video, viewers see snippets of tons of flirty conversations Griffin had with other girls, where he made his intentions very clear. One of the Snapchats shows Griffin clearly saying that he's single, as well as others when he's talking about flying girls out to LA to see them, and is clearly talking about hooking up with them. Then Dixie shows the super lengthy text message that he sent to her apologizing for the cheating, with a message reading in part that he knows he was wrong and hurt her, but he still cares about her. Thankfully, she didn't accept the BS and dumped him immediately. And at number two, Hugh Grant. This might be the worst case of cheating because not only was it unethical, the cheating was also illegal too. This took place back in 2005 while Grant was with Elizabeth Hurley. Hugh Grant was arrested after police discovered that he was getting intimate with a woman he paid $60 to. This is one of those cases where the news of the act would have made headlines even if he wasn't cheating with another huge actor. But despite the fact that he cheated, she stayed with him for five years after that, but they eventually broke up down the road. Thankfully, she's been able to move on from it and has a great sense of humor. Apparently, the former couple are actually even still close to this day. And finally, number one, Arnold Schwarzenegger. This is another cheating scandal that broke the internet because it was something straight out of a movie. Many years after it happened, it was exposed that Arnold cheated on his wife, Maria Shriver, with their housekeeper. Even worse, she got pregnant after the affair and had a child that Arnold kept hidden from his family. The affair was kept on the low until 2011 when the LA Times uncovered the story. Apparently, the affair was revealed in couples therapy. Maria was suspicious and Arnold fessed up to it. Apparently, Maria was suspicious about their relationship after he met the housekeeper's son and he looked identical to Arnold. Arnold also issued an apology to his wife and children when the news broke out saying that he was quote, truly sorry for what happened with the housekeeper named Mildred. Arnold and Maria divorced shortly after this news. Arnold reportedly knew about the child named Joseph Baina and 
even financially supported him without Maria knowing. Number 10, John Mulaney. In early September, amid questions about the timeline of John Mulaney's romance with Olivia Munn, the comedian's ex-wife Anna Marie Tendler reportedly knew he was doing things with other women before he went to rehab and before they ended their marriage in late 2020. It wasn't entirely clear when his relationship with Olivia started, but it appeared that John was going to great lengths to dispute the idea that he cheated. Anne Marie divorced from the comedian after six years of marriage. In a statement at the time, the artist said, I am heartbroken that John has decided to end our marriage. I wish him support and success as he continues his recovery. One week later, news broke that Mulaney had started dating actress Olivia Munn, and less than two months later, it was confirmed that Munn was pregnant with her and Mulaney's first child. Whether or not there was any overlap between the two women is still very uncertain. If you're loving this video so far, please hit the like button. It would really help us out. At number nine, we have Kevin Hart. In 2017, Kevin Hart hit headlines when it was said he cheated on his wife, Parrish Hart, who was eight months pregnant at the time with model Montina Savage. During a Las Vegas trip, a video was made and used in an attempt to extort the comedian. However, instead of playing the blackmailer, Hart ultimately decided to admit to his indiscretions and made a public apology to his wife. Why Montina claimed that Hart was just as much as a victim as she was to the leaked video, she said that Hart and his friend, JT Jackson, initially set up the encounter and hid the camera from her, causing her to sue Hart for $60 million. Luckily for Hart, the lawsuit was however, however, thrown out May that year due to it being filed in the wrong venue. Luckily for Hart, Parrish is a firm believer of second chances and the two were able to repair the relationship. Both recently welcomed their second child and have since stayed out of the public eye with any more scandals. Number 8, Matthew Morrison. In late May, it was reported that the Glee star got kicked off season 17 of So You Think You Can Dance because he developed an inappropriate relationship with a female contestant. Matthew has been married to Renee Puente since 2014, but he still decided to pursue a female contestant on the show who has not been named and sent her flirty DMs on Instagram. A US Weekly source claimed that the messages contained sexual innuendos and were flirty to the extent that he was overstepping boundaries. Eventually, the contestant felt so uncomfortable with his line of comments that she went right to producers, who then got Fox Studios involved. After they did an internal investigation, Matthew was fired on the spot. The following week, the father of two tried to recover his reputation and took to Instagram, insisting that he only asked the contestant for her phone number to help her get a job as a choreographer on a different show. Yeah, I don't know if anyone is buying that. We have Tiger Woods. Consider one of the best golfers of all time. Tiger Woods was the greatest ambassador to the game of golf. Until a scandal in 2009 forever shattered his golden boy image forever. In 2009, the tabloids reported that Woods had cheated on his wife, Ellen Norwegian, with nightclub manager Rachel Utchell. Shortly after a car crash, Tiger made a statement to the press saying he was unfaithful and had affairs and cheated on his wife. He said, I hurt my wife, my kids, my mother, my wife's family, my friends, my foundation, and kids all around the world who admired me. But the drama didn't end there since Rachel started coming forward with text messages and voicemails. Several other women came forward with their own stories about the intimate encounters with the famous golfer, causing Tiger to confess to having intimate relationships with as many as 120 other women. Why? While with his wife. Shortly after his interview, the press went radio silent and he and Ellen tried to repair the relationship. However, the couple ultimately decided to file for divorce on July 3rd, 2010, finalizing their divorce by August 23rd, 2010. Number six, Adam Levine. The Maroon 5 frontman has been married to his Victoria's Secret supermodel wife, Bahati Prinsloo, for almost a decade. And the couple have two children together and another one on the way. But that all came crashing down when an Instagram model named Summer Stroh went on TikTok and posted a video called having an affair with a man who's married to a Victoria's Secret supermodel, which was basically a whole video confessing that they had been in a relationship with Adam Levine for a whole year. She has also come through with a whopping amount of evidence and posted a series of DMs that Adam sent her on Instagram. To make matters much worse, several months after their affair, Adam DM'd Summer out of the blue asking if she would be okay with him naming 
naming his new baby after her. The news was perhaps one of the biggest cheating scandals of the year. And so far, another four women have come out claiming to have been involved with this singer at one point or another. At number five, we have Ben Affleck. Married to Jennifer Gardner for 10 years, Benifer was one of the biggest celebrity couples known today. However, in July of 2015, rumors started to surface that Ben Affleck cheated on Jennifer with the nanny of the couple's three children, Christine Uzenin. With Christine only working a couple of months as the couple's nanny at first, Ben tried to deny the allegations by claiming it was just a pile of hot garbage. According to inside sources though, Christine and Ben's affair began in spring of 2015, shortly after she was hired. And what started as a friendship quickly developed into an intimate relationship. It was also said that Christine accompanied Affleck and his three kids to the Bahamas in June before Garner flew down separately. While in the Bahamas, the power couple announced their divorce on June 30th. Shortly after, a photo of Christine and Ben kissing emerged, sending the media into frenzy. The couple's divorce was finalized in October of 2018, and the couple has since moved on and seemed to be doing well. Number four, Ned Fulmer. The internet went crazy when a video started circulating on social media of Ned Fulmer from the Try Guys kissing his employee Alex Herring at a New York City bar. Alex is actually one of the most well-known employees of the company and over the years she's been featured in a ton of videos. But if that wasn't bad enough, she was engaged to her fiance Will Thayer at the time and the couple had been together for 11 years. This scandal was insane. Fans were beyond shocked that certified wife guy Ned was even capable of cheating on his beautiful wife Ariel Fulmer. He was known as a super devoted husband who loved to gush over his wife in almost every video. So he really betrayed the audience as well as his own family. As a result, he was swiftly fired from the Try Guys and he had to put out a statement owning up to the affair, admitting to having a consensual workplace relationship as he called it. Number three, we have Brad Pitt. Before there was Brad and Angelina, the world knew Brad Pitt and Jennifer Aniston. On July 29th of 2005, Brad and Jennifer tied the knot. However, when Brad was filming Mr. and Miss Smith, with Angelina Jolie back in 2003, it's no secret that the two had undeniable chemistry. As the film hit cinemas in January of 2004, rumors started to circulate around Hollywood that the two stars were having an affair while on set. And by January of 2005, Jennifer and Brad came out saying after years of being together, they were now calling it quits. Jennifer felt like her whole world was crashing and she believed she lost the love of her life. And in 2011, Brad claimed that while he was married to Aniston, he felt like his life wasn't interesting and ultimately that's what led to the affair. Since their divorce, Angelie and Brad have now gotten divorced and Brad has started to rekindle his friendship with Aniston. So do you guys think this past power couple will get back together or are they just going to be friends? Number two, Ime Yudoka. Actress Nia Long had been in a relationship with Celtics coach Ime Yudoka for well over a decade and the two of them share a 10 year old son together. Just two weeks before they planned to move their family to Boston where they were house hunting, Nia learned about his betrayal. It turns out her fiance was having an affair with a married front office staffer. It was Ime who reportedly came clean to the actress about their affair because news of his infidelity was about to be made public. On September the 22nd, the Boston Celtics announced that the coach had been suspended for the 2022 to 2023 season for violating team rules. Nia then released her own statement addressing the heartbreak, saying, the outpouring of love and support from family, friends, and the community during this difficult time means so much to me. Ime also released a statement saying, I want to apologize to our players, fans, the entire Celtics organization, and my family for letting them down. I am sorry for putting the team in this difficult situation, and I accept the team's decision. Number one, we have Ashton Kutcher. Kutcher was caught red-handed by ex-wife Demi Moore on their sixth wedding anniversary when he decided to cheat on Demi with blonde mistress Sarah Leal in a 2000 
$1,555 suite at the San Diego Hard Rock Hotel. Demi ultimately found out about the alleged affair when she received a Google alert on her cell phone. The alert displayed an article where Sarah shared her intimate interactions with Kutcher that took place in 2011. Barely able to breathe, Demi decided to call Ashton and asked him if it was true. She then claimed he immediately admitted to everything. The couple shortly after decided to split and filed for divorce in 2013 and since Ashton Kutcher married his past castmate Mila Kunas and Demi has been dating Daniel Hums of March of 2022. <laughs> Starting off our list number 10 is Jude Law. His affair was one of the biggest ones in Hollywood history because of how heavily documented it was. Honestly it was all the media was talking about at one point in time. He got engaged to Sienna Miller back in 2004 and they honestly seemed like a match made in heaven. But it wasn't long before a cheating scandal surfaced in 2006 and revealed that Jude had been cheating with their nanny. It was the nanny, Daisy Wright, who came out and shared the details of their little entanglement. Jude did not deny it to the press. He actually came clean about the affair and released a public apology to Sienna, saying that he is ashamed and deeply regrets it. Sienna broke off the relationship immediately, but then they tried to rekindle it. It wasn't actually until 2011 that they officially called it quits. Bless her heart for trying to still make it right after that. In spot number nine, we have Ben Affleck. Now this one is still up for debate and it always has been, so it will just depend on whose side of the story you actually believe. I will leave that up to you. The actor was once married to Jennifer Garner and rumors started spreading rapidly that he had cheated on her with their nanny, Christine. Sources claim that they spotted him with the nanny after his split with Jennifer and that it was revealed that they had been having inappropriate meetings while they were actually together. At the time, Ben refused to comment on the claims, but his rep did. His rep called the allegations complete garbage. As for the nanny, she was legally not allowed to speak on her relationship with Ben and Jennifer, but neither of them continued to use her as a nanny even after they went their separate ways. Cruising into number eight is Gavin Rossdale. It was an unhappy ending for his marriage with Gwen Stefani. The two of them were married for 13 years before it ended because of adultery. Turns out Gavin was cheating on Gwen right under her nose for three years with the family's long-term nanny, Mindy Mann. She was their nanny for a very long time and took care of their three sons. Gwen actually uncovered the affair was happening through explicit texts between the two of them, including nude photos of Mindy and plans to meet up for a hookup. She didn't actually find the messages by snooping through his phone. Another nanny discovered them through the family iPad, which was linked to Gavin's phone, and then she told Gwen. Mindy was immediately fired, obviously, and even though Gavin initially said it was all just flirting and that an affair never actually happened, it wasn't until months later that he fully admitted it, and Gwen ended the marriage. Rightfully so. Up next, number seven, we have Arnold Schwarzenegger. Another nanny cheating scandal affair that flooded media out and was very heavily documented because the story was so shocking. It's still shocking. The world was in complete shock when finding out that he had a secret son no one knew about for 20 years. He was married to Maria Shriver at the time of the affair and had four children together. He had an affair in 1996 with their nanny, Mildred Baina. It allegedly happened while the family was on vacation and then he stayed behind to shoot a movie. Once Mildred got pregnant and had her son, Arnold thought it belonged to her husband until he got older and realized that the son started to look a lot like he did. Once he confirmed that he was the father, he began to financially support him. And once Maria found out, she ended the marriage. Arnold says that he has spent a lot of time with his son, Joseph, over the years and that they have been getting closer, even working out together. Coming up next at number six is Stephen Belafonte. This one is a lot to unravel. I was actually reading through all the articles on this and my God, it was the messiest divorce like in history. No joke. Steven and his ex-wife, Mel B, the former Spice Girl, hired a nanny named Lorraine Gills who was in her 20s throughout their working relationship. But Mel B started to claim that Steven was having an affair with Lorraine and that is when things just got very messy. Steven and Lorraine then came forward and said that the three of them were in a sexual relationship together and that no affair was ever going on. But then Mel went as far as claiming that her husband actually got Lorraine pregnant during the affair and then paid her $250 
$140,000 to have an abortion. They were all in this massive legal battle for years and Lorraine actually sued Mel B for defamation based on these claims. Mel ended up having to pay her $1.8 million and Steven and Lorraine still remain friends to this day. That is a messy situation. Halfway through our list at number five is Ethan Hawke. Back in 2003, reports revealed that Ethan and Uma Thurman were ending their marriage and that their nanny, Ryan Shaw Hughes, was the reason for it. At the time, Ethan heavily denied it, but then he went on to date Ryan and then later marry her in 2008. And yes, they are still together to this day, so I will save you the time from going and Googling it. This might be the one time that they actually went on to be with the nanny forever. But Ethan has always stuck to his guns saying that they did not fall in love with each other until after he ended things with Uma Thurman. He defended himself and said, I know a lot of people imagine some kind of sound of music type love affair, but the truth is by the time Ryan and I were falling in love, it had been a long while since I had employed her. I don't buy it. But hey, maybe you do. Who really knows the truth? Let me know in the comments uh, if you believe it or not. <laughs> Rolling into spot number four, we have The Dream. 2010 was a crazy year for him and his wife, Christina Milan. He filed for divorce in February, which came as a total shock to Christina as she was just nine days away from giving birth to their daughter. What a gentleman. She asked the court to throw out the divorce papers though, claiming that he was lying about the status of their relationship and also said that he had cheated on her. Turns out she wasn't wrong about the whole cheating claims, photos leaked and showed the dream cheating on her with his own personal assistant, Melissa Marie. Images showed them frolicking and just getting real touchy with each other in the Caribbean. When Christina was asked about the cheating scandal, she said, I didn't know anything, but looking back, my gut was telling me something was off, but I thought I could fix it. Good news is she went on to be a great mother and said motherhood has made her feel sexier than she ever has before. You go, girl. Coming in hot at number three, we have Mick Jagger. This one has been a big debate ever since the news broke because the cheating allegations came straight from the nanny. Some people believed her story while others just thought that she had different motives. So let me know what you guys think. Back in 2002, nanny Claire Houseman alleged she had a sexual relationship with Mick Jagger. She spoke with the Daily Mirror at the time and went into details about the time that they hooked up, claiming that it happened in the kitchen, which was just 30 feet away from the bedroom that he stayed in with his wife, Jerry Hall. She even went as far as saying that she had Mick in the morning and then he had his afternoon delight in the afternoon with his wife on the same day. Not a good look for Mick, obviously, that's for sure, and not her either. But Claire was firm on the fact that she had no regrets to this hookup, but admitted that she did feel bad for Jerry at the time. How kind of you to feel bad for me, even though you're banging my husband. Thanks so much. Rolling into the number two spot, we have John Gosselin. You would probably know him better as John from John and Kate Plus Eight, the family with eight children who got their own reality show and won the hearts of millions of people. It was a fun show, it was kind of weird. But their family life got complicated back in 2009 when a babysitter named Stephanie Santoro opened up to the tabloids about her alleged affair with John. We are talking about him cheating on Kate though. This was at the time that he was with his girlfriend, Haley Glassman. He swore that he never cheated and that he was always very faithful to Haley but Stephanie begged to differ. She claimed they cheated on multiple occasions and that it all started when he invited her to his place to hang out in the hot tub one night. Haley and John eventually broke up and his mom even admitted to the press that he did not see Haley as the person he wanted to spend the rest of his life with. So that kind of added to the cheating rumors. Winning our number one spot is Bill Clinton. I mean, there's really no way that this one would cause a ton of controversy. Former president Bill Clinton was caught in a massive sex scandal that led to his impeachment in 1998. He had an affair on his wife, Hillary Clinton, with a White House intern. He spoke about it all these years later in 2020 when he did an interview for Hillary, the documentary series. He actually took full responsibility in the documentary and said, nobody sits down and thinks, I think I'll take a really irresponsible risk. It's bad for my family, bad for my country, bad for the people who work with me. He also went on to explain that the affair was something he used to manage his anxieties, which obviously had people on Twitter just losing their minds. As for Hillary, she did remain by his side through the affair, and even though they are still together to this day, she said it was a very devastating time for her. In at number 10, Nick Lachey. Jessica Simpson revealed in her recent memoir that she had an emotional affair with Johnny Knoxville while married to Nick Lachey. 
In the memoir titled Open Book, she spoke about how she felt the emotional cheating was worse than physical, writing, quote, "...to me an emotional affair was worse than a physical one." She added that since she waited till marriage to do the deed, she finally realized that the emotional part mattered much more than the physical, and apparently Johnny and her had a much stronger emotional connection than her and Nick, stating that it was more of a betrayal to have that connection than to sleep with him. And at number 9, Dennis Quaid. Meg Ryan has admitted to dating Russell Crowe while she was married to Dennis Quaid, but says that they were both unfaithful in the marriage. In 2000, Meg Ryan and Russell Crowe starred in the movie Proof of Life. Then photos of the pair getting close on set emerged, and cheating rumors started swirling. Meg Ryan and Dennis Quaid ended up divorcing, and Meg Ryan started officially dating Russell Crowe, although that relationship didn't last long and they split shortly after. Following the scandal, Meg Ryan told In Style, quote, "...what wasn't in the story was the reality of my marriage for nine years. Dennis was not faithful to me for a long time, and that was very painful. I found out more about that once I was divorced." The drama with the love triangle ended up derailing Meg's career, as the public couldn't just see her as the girl next door anymore. And at number 8, Khloe Kardashian. Khloe Kardashian was actually on the last part of this list because sadly she's been cheated on a lot. During her marriage to Lamar Odom, the pair looked like a picture perfect fairy tale, and Lamar treated Khloe like a queen on their TV show. But later it was exposed that Lamar had cheated on Khloe hundreds of times over their marriage. Lamar said that after he got with Khloe, hundreds of women came out of the woodwork and wanted to sleep with him, and he gave in to temptation. But he said that his one regret is cheating on Khloe. Quote, "...if there's one thing I regret when I was married, it was having multiple affairs with different women. That wasn't the stand-up thing to do. I wish I could have kept it in my pants." The pair finalized the divorce in 2016, and the Kardashians supported him after his life-threatening OD. And at number 7, Ali Laundrie. While Mario Lopez was engaged to Ali Laundrie, he cheated on her, and their marriage ended only weeks after it began. The couple met in 1998 and dated for six years before getting married in 2004. But two weeks after the marriage, the pair got an annulment, and it was rumored that Lopez had cheated. Neither spoke about it for years until Lopez admitted that he did cheat on Laundry, well at his bachelor party days before the wedding. He told Howard Stern, quote, "...I figured at that point it was easier to ask for forgiveness. It's my bachelor party. We were going to have a good time. I was wrong for obviously lying, and I shouldn't have been in that position." He later admitted that he messed around with several women that weekend. The pair split and are now in other happy relationships. And at number 6, Nick Kokas. While Catherine McPhee was married to Nick Kokas, she was caught kissing her married Smash director, Michael Morris. So obviously that's incredibly messy. The pair ended up splitting because of the cheating, but in the end, Catherine says she doesn't have any regrets about the situation. She told Ocean Drive magazine, quote, "...I got married really young and then divorced, and in the last couple of years, I felt like, wow, this is what I should have been doing when I was 20 instead of planning a wedding." She added that she learned deeply from her choices, and she is happy to have strong influences in her life who will force her to look at her failures. Catherine is now married to David Foster, and they have a child together. And at number 5, Jamie Bergman. Bones actor David Barnaz was exposed for cheating in the worst way possible. He actually had to come forward and admit to cheating because he was being extorted by the woman he had the affair with. Apparently, multiple infidelities took place in the marriage, and at a certain point, he had to own up to it. He told people, quote, "...I just want to be open and honest. I was irresponsible. I was associated with a woman who I was involved with and had a relationship with. She asked for money. I felt as though I was being blackmailed or there was some sort of extortion." After he admitted to the cheating, the pair did not split up and worked to try and get their marriage back on track. The pair are still together to this day. And at number 4, Brittany Cartwright. If you guys watch Vanderpump Rules, then you will know about this disastrous cheating scandal. While Brittany and Jax were dating, cheating rumors plagued the couple. It didn't help that Jax was a proven cheater at that point already. The cheating was officially confirmed in Season 6 of the show, when Jax admitted to hooking up with one of their colleagues, Faith Stowers. Brittany wasn't sure whether to stay with Jax at that point, but she told us in 2018, quote, "...I see him every single day making efforts, and he's completely changed the way he treats me, the way he talks to me, the way he listens to me. Every single thing about a relationship is better." The pair later got married in 2019 and are still together. And at number 3, Cardi B. Cardi B and Offset are another celebrity couple that is constantly attracting cheating rumors. The worst was in 2017, when Offset was caught in bed with another woman in a video that went viral online. Cardi responded by saying this kind of thing happens to everyone and that she had no intention of leaving him. Then in 2018, the pair officially got married and then welcomed their first daughter, Culture. But their rocky relationship did not stop there. After more rumors of cheating, the pair split only a year after they got married. Cardi even filed for a divorce. 
The woman that Offset was hooking up with at that time even apologized for her part in the mess. But eventually they got back together and just welcomed a second child together. In at number 2, Hillary Clinton. This was the scandal that rocked the political world and made everyone think differently of Bill Clinton. While Bill was in office, it was exposed that he had an affair with his White House intern Monica Lewinsky, who was 22 years old at the time. His political opponents took this opportunity and tried to get Bill to lie under oath so he would be impeached, and their scheme worked. When speaking about it at a televised conference, he famously said, quote, I did not have sexual relations with that woman. But this lie then caused him to get charged with perjury and obstruction of justice. Bill was impeached due to this debacle and removed as president. Even though Hillary was the laughing stock at the time, she stood by Bill. Hillary said, quote, It was really hard, it was painful, and I was so supported by my friends, my friends just rallied around. And finally, number one, Scotty Pippen. Scotty Pippen divorced his wife Larsa Pippen in 2016 after 19 years of marriage because of allegations that she cheated. Apparently, multiple sources confirmed that she was hooking up with the rapper Future. One insider said at the time, quote, He found out about Larsa and Future and couldn't handle it. Although after briefly splitting, they actually got back together four months later. But then two years after that, Larsa was the one that filed for divorce again. I guess the pair weren't able to work it out and realized that they were better apart. At number 10 we have Selena Gomez, whose back then bestie Taylor Swift seemed to confirm Selena's previous on again, off again boyfriend Justin Bieber had cheated on her following fans speculation. There had been endless rumors of Justin being unfaithful back then between 2011 to 2014, but he and Selena continued to reconcile and break up for years after, each time while fans assumed they were officially done. Right before Justin tied the knot with his childhood friend and current wife Haley Baldwin in 2018, rumors of Selena and Justin's relationship resurfaced. But by 2019, Taylor had basically stepped in to save her best friend. At the time, Taylor was fresh off her back and forth feud with singer Katy Perry and seemed to be on a path of airing it all out via Tumblr one weekend. On it, she details her issues with record executive Scooter Braun and naturally with Kanye West and Justin Bieber. This of course is where things get a bit messy. Even Suicide Squad actress Cara Delevingne ended up getting involved at one point. Still, it was inevitable that Taylor's own fans found themselves right in the middle of the mess over multiple social sites. However, one fan in particular responded to Justin's we haven't gotten to communicate our differences comment which was alluding to the rumors surrounding him cheating on Selena as well as some of Taylor's issues with Kanye through a comment that stated you cheated on her best friend and then publicly sided with the man who made revenge against her. Was she supposed to invite you over for tea? F out of here. Where the quote confirmation came from was Taylor liking the post, which obviously led a majority of the internet to believe Taylor confirmed the Jelena rumors. At number 9 we have Beyonce, who remained loyally devoted to her still husband Jay Z after he confirmed having cheated on her. Naturally the world was shocked to see Hollywood's favorite couple going into shambles, especially after Beyonce's sister, Solange Knowles, was seen attacking Jay Z in an elevator. In light of the incident though, mass speculation spread that Solange was merely playing tit for tat because of the rumors stimulating from Jay-Z cheating on her sister. Both stars eventually hinted at said gossip through their music, with Beyonce releasing Lemonade and Jay-Z dropping 444. But before this, Jay-Z gave us the direct scoop for the very first time publicly during a New York Times styled magazine interview where he discussed his life back then. Beyonce and Jay-Z also had prior plans to release a collaborative album in light of everything as they were creating music together, but ended up deciding to go with their solo projects. Jay-Z did admit that therapy helped him deal with his past issues and prevented what looked to be their incoming divorce at the time. However, nowadays the rapper singer Twosome has since renewed their vows and appear to be much more content with their current life. At number 8 we have Gabrielle Union and former fiance Dwayne Wade. The two engaged back in 2013 but briefly separated during the time when Dwayne had conceived a baby boy with Aja Matoyer. The announcement for Dwayne's new bundle of joy was released worldwide less than a week following Dwayne's engagement announcement with Gabrielle. Despite this, Dwayne has referred to his child as a blessing. Oppositely, Gabrielle received infinite hardships from the strain in the relationship, which started off in 2008. Fast forwarding to 2021, Gabrielle talked about their issues in more detail, urging others to be careful when seeking advice from people who have not successfully healed from their own traumas and are trying to help someone else. Regardless, the couple managed to work through their heavy stress and have seemingly become happier in their current marriage of a little under 8 years. They share a younger daughter named Kavia James. At number 7 we have 
have leading Twilight stars Kristen Stewart and Robert Pattinson. Back when Robert became romantically involved with Kristen, who played his on screen lover in the romantic action vampire franchise, fans were elated with the discovery of them dating. As private as the two attempted to remain about the relationship, fans were practically obsessed with their fairy tale type of romance. However, fans were soon extremely crushed to find out that Kristen had cheated on Robert with her Snow White and the Huntsman director, Rupert Sanders, a film which included Rupert's then wife, Liberty Ross. Despite the fact that it was revealed the two never slept together, Kristen still gave a public apology to Robert, who forgave her even though they broke it off less than a year later. Robert referred to their relationship as something that was normal in young people, and it never really recovered after that. However, in the years since her affair, Kristen detailed how she managed to get caught up in the scandal, explaining that the cheating was merely a kiss shared between her and Rupert. And even though the stars have been separated for nearly a decade now, Kristen revealed she would have been content marrying Robert if they had gotten to that point. Still, Kristen did acknowledge how the intense pressure around them as young public figures also played a part. In conclusion, the Twilight leads split, and so did Rupert and his wife. Despite Kristen understanding how their scandal was the nail in the coffin of her former relationship, she didn't forget to inform us how the media storm surrounding her relationship with Pattison made her a stronger person. At number six, we have rapping duo Cardi B and Offset, who, for starters, are indeed still together and married to this day. However, there were quite a few instances in their timeline when things were looking a little blurry, and at one point, the couple was certainly headed for divorce. Amid chatter that Offset was unfaithful throughout the entirety of their relationship. Reports of infidelity on Offset's half have been floating around from the very start, but most notably, images of Offset being unfaithful to Cardi were once leaked off his iCloud by Packers. However, Cardi has insisted on her desire to keep their marriage afloat and work through their issues, stating that she has no reason to explain their situation, which quote, happens to everyone, to anybody who asks this of her. Yet the two did have a momentary separation in December 2018. Cardi even went as far as filing for divorce of Offset's alleged endless infidelity, who had a previous bad rep for being a womanizer. Offset has denied the gossip time and time again, but multiple women have reportedly stepped forward to inform the female rapper, which again led to their eventual temporary divorce. According to a source from E, Cardi did attempt to forgive and put her trust back into Offset in 2017, but it seemingly backfired on her as she was later played with embarrassment and only attempted to move on at first for their child. After deeming her situation as enough is enough, the narrative that Cardi dumped Offset for good is no longer viable due to the fact that they are still currently together and seem to be doing much better. At number 5 we have Vanessa Bryan and her late former husband of 20 years, basketballer Kobe Bryant. Kobe had previously admitted to his affairs in 2003 while he was facing essay allegations from a Colorado woman. It seemed he was on the brink of also losing Vanessa along the way, as at one point he was sure she would be done with him. Instead, Vanessa stuck it out with Kobe through the publicly scandalous issue. Things seemed great for them until 2011 when another woman claimed she engaged in an affair with the former sports star. However, after Vanessa promptly filed for divorce, the ordeal was dropped and they reconciled in 2013. Kobe was captured all over the country with a variety of women who were not his wife when Vanessa reportedly hired an army of private investigators to figure out what was going on. And it was said that the PIs gathered quite the incriminating evidence against him. A close insider to Vanessa once described Vanessa's overall emotions over the situation, where they referred to Kobe as out of control due to his various affairs over the course of their marriage. Apparently, whenever Kobe was caught red-handed in the past, he would smooth his wife with expensive gifts ranging from cars to jewelry. However, as the source once said, each time he promised to reform, and each time he broke his promise. At number 4 we have basketball player Nick Young, who revealed he cheated on his former fiance and musical artist Iggy Azalea through a previously leaked secret video. At the time, the two braved the storm by attempting to work things out as they remained engaged, but surely enough, Nick showed that he was not willing to change much. In the words of Iggy, she detailed, I broke up with Nick because I found out he had brought other women into our home while I was away and caught them on security footage. According to reports, Iggy actually received her payback by burning all his things in a bonfire. Big yikes. In the midst of their separation, Iggy also addressed the gossip that stated she left Nick because he had another child with the mother of his young son. But Iggy admitted that she didn't even know about that until it was revealed in E! News. At number 3 we have reality star Kourtney Kardashian and her previous partner Scott Disick. Now Scott has been surrounded by rumors of him cheating on Kourtney throughout the duration of their Keeping Up With The Kardashian filming. Despite the fact that the two former partners share three children together, Scott was reportedly unable to remain a faithful lover to Kourtney. Apparently Kourtney had discovered 
evidence of unfaithfulness on Scott's part multiple times, and yet the two remained on and off for a whopping 9 years before calling it quits for good in 2015. Surely it's not much of a surprise here that the Kardash crew was not a fan of Scott by any means. They thought he had a horrible attitude and needed to tend to his previous alcohol use. The blend of issues often led to altercations stemming from Scott's behavior, who has admitted in the past that he struggled with alcohol basically up until they split. However, nowadays Courtney and Scott have both moved on in the love department and are doing a great job at co-parenting, possibly even more so than when they were actually together. At number 2 we have the Osborne duo known as Sharon and Ozzy respectively. As one of the biggest rock stars of not just his time, but all time, I think it was just to mostly Sharon's surprise when she found out that Ozzy was unfaithful a lot. By that point Sharon was seemingly done with Ozzy, but around the next year and in light of their 40 year history, they ended up coming back to one another again and have been Married ever since. It's unclear whether she decided to drop everything and forgive him at the time or now, but Sharon has expressed her understanding of how many men would also find it hard to remain faithful if they spent the day in Ozzy's world. Still, this doesn't mean Ozzy is proud of his past by any means. During a British GQ sit down, the legendary rocker admitted that one of his biggest life regrets was having cheated on his wife. Quote, I've done some pretty outrageous things in my life. I regret cheating on my wife. I don't do it anymore. I got my reality check and I'm lucky she didn't leave me. I was pissed off with myself, but I broke her heart. Ozzy and Sharon married back in 1982 and shared three children named Amy, Kelly, and Jack. At number one, we have an unfortunate two for one and with athletes no less. Simply put, no one deserves to be cheated on, especially not more than once. However, this exact thing happened to Chloe and her past two relationships with basketball stars Lamar Odom and Tristan Thompson. It seems her luck with faithful men has yet to come, and it almost feels like Chloe's had some weird curse on her love life ever since her marriage to Lamar in 2009. For Lamar's situation, they divorced and then rekindled the romance, even with Chloe's revelation of Lamar cheating. They officially called it quits since, but he wouldn't be the first nor last dude Chloe was also reportedly involved with who allegedly cheated on her. With Tristan, he and Chloe were forced apart by unfaithfulness as well, while Chloe was pregnant with his child nonetheless, but they remained together for a while afterwards despite this. Chloe and Tristan officially separated when rumors of Tristan cheating with Chloe's half sister Kylie's former bestie Jordan Woods in February 2019. 2019. Chloe dumped him in light of the news.